Welcome everyone <clears throat> to the Lim Cube channel once again. Because I was like, I was deciding today if I wanted to do that, even though it was technically announced yesterday. But I want to beat this game. I just want to beat this game. That's what I'm doing today. I'm not going to bet until this game is beaten. Even though I'm just starting the Temple of Time, I'm aware that this could very well take 10 hours. Um, or longer. But I'm gonna get this done today because I want to start playing Elden Ring. I really, I, I can't wait anymore. I'm too addicted to the game. I think about the game like six times every day. So it's it's gonna be part of the stream. It just will be. Um, so I want to beat this game today. And then tomorrow after Randomizer, try out my first Elden Ring Randomizer. And see how that goes. BFY, yeah, I have time. If it's 15 hours, that'll be all good. I have all the time in the world. I think it should be anywhere between 10 and 15. Let's see if we can do it. And how fast we can do it without trying to speedrun speedrun. So we're gonna uh, enjoy the game. I was very impressed yesterday coming back to this place and looking at the, f uh, the Temple of Time again. It still looks as mysterious and cool as I remember. What's up, Night Owl? Also, what's up, by the way, Jyoti? What's up, Tomato Frog? What's up, R2? <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. We are just entering the Temple of Time. Right. So I'm already aware that these statues currently... Oh no, I think you can already control them. How did this work again? Yeah, I saw the signature stealing. They're trying to impersonate you. Should we wait for the Switch version of Twilight yeah, Princess? Is that coming out? I uh, haven't heard that yet. In the Grove in the Temple Entry, they were always matching once on each side, but there's only one pot here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? If you say so, Vietnam, I will do that. Are you planning on playing to play? Are you playing or planning to play Persona 3 Reload? Yes. Um, but I don't know if I'm streaming it. I was actually sent a key for the game. I would have bought it anyway, so that was really lucky. Mm, okay. I knew it. There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. I don't I I don't know. Because the thing with Persona is um Later in the late game, it, I feel like it becomes kind of repetitive to stream because you just kind of go through your days, you do like your hangouts, and the story progresses a little bit slower. So I don't know if I would enjoy streaming it. I will absolutely play it no matter what. Not announced yet, but I'm sure Nintendo will port it eventually. Really? Interesting. I honestly thought they wouldn't anymore because... I did expect them to move on to the next hardware soon, and I don't know, would, pe would, would people still buy Twilight Princess if it was the HD version, but on the next console? Maybe. I, um, I didn't know they were gonna do that for sure. Thank you so much, Ailed, for the tw uh, 32 uh, months. Also, Amas, thank you so much for the 1000 bits yesterday. I realized that I didn't specifically say, uh, say thank you, because I was uh, busy doing my Limb Cube is currently on drugs impression. I would. Well, chances are, if you're watching a Twilight Princess playthrough right now, and if you're on Twitch um, to watch this sort of content, you would. But what matters is, would the average consumer, that uh, a Zelda fan that you meet out on the street, still do it? Maybe they would. Sorry, I was busy. Midnight, can you uh, talk to me again? Let's go find a matching one. Okay, okay. She, she just can't stop thinking about that statue. Uh, but how do we find a matching one? Are we supposed to go like all the way back? <clears throat> Probably not. Can't go up here. I'm playing this on emulator. Unless she wants me to straight up like leave the place? Am I supposed to remember where in the world there was another one of those statues? Also, 
How did the man chicken just enter this place? Did they clip through the door? What is this statue? I can pick this one up. I wouldn't say that one's matching. I place it down anyway, see what happens. Nothing. Oh, but I can put it over here. Maybe that does something. It builds a stair, I see. What's up, Eden? Oh, they went up here. Uh, not so fast. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in its place. We've searched all over and now we're so close. I can smell it. Once you find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh gracious, yes. Young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. Of course, I've still never um, actually used these guys for anything. But uh, if you say so, I'll take you with me. Okay. Looks like these are torches, so maybe we can light them up. We can. How did that knife fight go yesterday where you get the item in Snow Palace? The knife fight. The night fight? Uh, I think I got it first try. It wasn't really a big issue. Ugh, I don't remember these enemies. I guess they're kind of considered Gomas, because I do remember the boss of this temple as well, obviously, being kind of like a huge spider. Okay, so these two open, but I need to place something down, like a pot. And then maybe this will spawn another statue, let's see. Did I learn any new sword skills? Not yet, no. Not since the last playthrough. I think there's one wolf available to me. I don't even remember which skills still remain. I remember there's like a... Like a... Like a... Bigger charge attack? Not sure if this is just in my memory. And then there's still something else. I think I'm missing like two of them. Okay. What is this grappling hook thing for? Nothing? Okay, I see. Can I destroy this with something maybe? I mean, I could probably do it with a bomb arrow. Seems a bit ex extreme. Maybe normal arrow is enough. It does seem to be that way. That means you missed one yesterday? Mm, no, I did activate it. I just did get the snow the skill yet. If that's what you mean. But I definitely got the one on the way to the snow palace, like the statue. Just didn't go out to um, meet up with the wolf yet. This is an enemy. Oh god. I think I'm doing damage here. Interesting. Interesting design. Twilight Princess is the prettiest Zelda game pre Breath of the Wilds. That's probably a pretty hot take. I like the style of it, but I think some things look a little unfortunate these days, especially when it comes to like faces and stuff. 
but it, it has its own charm in my opinion still like i still like how it looks but I, i'd say prettiest I, I would i would personally consider skyward sword like prettier in a sense that it looks more like painting sometimes but everyone has their own tastes of course But again, I'm not going for like 100% or anything. Uh, definitely not gonna get all. I did pick up the larger rupee bag now. Um, I also do remember how we can get more. How we can get more arrows to shoot. But like, for example, that stuff I don't necessarily want to do. I, maybe I'm still gonna restore Malomart. Maybe I'm. And there's also a chance that after I beat the game. I will do another stream where I do things like the Cave of Ordeals and clean up again, but I at least want to be done with the main story. Except for being the the yellow game, Age of Games, what is that? I haven't heard that term. Like, was there a time where games were like a yellow tint or something? I haven't heard that before. Also, I think canonically we're supposed to be in the past right now. Which I guess makes me think that the Zalfos used to be around in the past. Can we do that? That's a, a BMO again, right? I think this is a more traditional one. We got some of those kind of in the fire temple. I don't know if they're called the same in this game. Okay, there's another. Looks like we might have to press some switches again. The pole behind this one. There's also a staircase, though. Yo, it's about Long time no see. I hope you're doing good today. up ix welcome back um so i can clearly pick up those well it seems like it wants me to pick up the statues but again i i will say something that i've noticed i think this game might be easier to play for the first time than a second time at least in my specific situation because i feel like most of the time here i'm confusing myself of already knowing what's coming up like if I had never played this game, I wouldn't know that the Dominion Rod exists and that at one point I'd be able to move these creatures and statues around and that's kind of tricking me. Oh, so I can actually use the Beyblades here, I didn't see that. I, haven't, I think I haven't used the Beyblade since the 4th Temple at all yet. Okay, here I can do some spinning. This is the locked. So finger bang, chicken wang, MGK, Iggy is a little pump. Lil Shan imitate Lil Wayne, I should aim at everybody in the game, pick a name. Wait, did you write this line or is this something I'm supposed to know? <laughs> because that sounds um, quite intricate. Thank you so much, Amos, for the 1,500 bits, though. The, hello? No. The lyrical masterclass. Oh, it's actually already written, I see. So what do I do about all of these spiders? This is disgusting. It looks like they would like lay eggs when you kill them. You know what I mean? Like they look like when you kill them, they explode and then like a bunch of mini spiders come out and it would like the, be the most horrific thing. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Does it even do anything to me to them? It probably doesn't, because I'm pretty sure the second I will leave the room, they will just all respawn. Hey, go down now. You too. 
Hey, Limkyo, watch your um, Breath of the Wild All Shrines run. Do you think you can do the Jesus of the Kingdom? I already did. Um, unless you mean like specific glitches, but I already did an All Shrines run. And I literally said on stream yesterday that I want to look into it again. Um, after I got like a nice randomizer. I, I want to figure out, I want to mess around with the randomizer and Tears of the Kingdom more. Um, yeah, I think I've seen like a clip like that too, <laughs> Mike. I want to play around with the randomizer a little bit more. Um, I want to find like a fun rule set to make the randomizer challenging and fun and then make a YouTube video on it. And then I would like to try out all shrines again, if I'm being honest, because it's still kind of... It's still kind of special to me. I would still consider one of the cooler tiers of the Kingdom Runs too, because you actually get to like play the game. Alright, touch the, the Beyblades. Wait, so why am I doing this? I just kind of assumed that I have to bring the statue there, and I think I actually do have to do that. But I need one more? Or maybe I don't need one more if I stay stay on it. No, because the second I leave. Okay. Oh, I guess I could take I could have taken the Oh no, there's another one here. Okay, thank God. I was gonna say, I guess I could have technically maybe brought a pot, but I'm glad that the game doesn't want me to do that because that would have gotten quite annoying. What's up, Zelda Connection? By the way, it's good to see you. In real life, the baby spiders are not inside, but on top of the mama. Well, no matter what, I would like to not encounter this in real life. That does not sound like a good time. Also, these enemies are weird. I wonder if... They kind of look like what would later become like ancient Sheikah technology. Like maybe this was some early ideas. You know what I mean? Like the blue glow. And even the way they explode. I think they are an Artemis variant. Why the... Why is that... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I have no idea why auto mod. I'm trying to figure it out. Why is that against auto mod rules? I think they are an... I'm like, sometimes, usually I'm pretty good at seeing how this could possibly ever be... Was it variant? Really? Because it says auto mods like filtered it because of potential ethnicity racial stuff but I, I i can't figure out why uh namos maybe very uh, that's very strange auto mod goes crazy what's my thoughts on scabbard sword personally i liked it i like the story i like especially like the ending was quite emotional but i wouldn't consider it one of my favorites Mainly because, like, to, like what I liked about this game is that everything, like, as you progress through the game, you come up. When I googled Amos, it's only Zelda stuff. Well, apparently not, because your message also your message also got filtered. It's apparently that word, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's like something. It's like a bad word that I keep saying in some other context, and I don't know why. No idea why. <laughs> um, so I liked it, but I didn't enjoy it. Like in it's I thought you keep going back to those places, right? For example, to Farron. I think you end up going like three times. You keep going back, keep fighting the imprison. At the end of the, at the, at the end of the game, it felt like it was getting a little bit boring. I keep constantly returning to the place, and I know stuff changes, right? Like, for example, Farron Woods eventually becomes flooded and that sort of stuff. But it wasn't really doing it for me in the sense of, like, exploration or, like, adventure that this game was. Like, in this game, yes, you do return to areas, but then entirely new areas open up. Like, 
the snow peak that I just visited, the Temple of Time. Um, and then I know obviously the, the, the village in the sky or whatever is eventually gonna uh, show up. And then the Twilight Temple and then we'll finally go to Haruka. It, this felt more adventurous for me for like a linear Zelda, but I still enjoy the story. <laughs> I was with our Piper. That fits very well. The, the sunglasses are lame, but I guess that does kind of work out. All right, what is in here? An important item, I'm assuming the map. The compass. Although I don't have the map yet, I think. Wait, do I? There is eight floors here. That goes crazy. I guess it's kind of like a tower. If you really think about it. The boss is at the very bottom. Big round room. I do remember what the boss. Oh no, I have the map. I do, yeah, I do have the map. I, I don't even remember finding it. There's actually not that many rooms in this temple, which is interesting. Now, um, what do I do with this newfound information? Nothing, although it looks like I can go here. So I guess I have to shoot the crystal again. Maybe that's why you're supposed, why you get the co compass here. So it's like, oh, you can still go up here. How many dun dungeon temple have I, have I done? I'm pretty sure this is six out of eight. Wait, this is 6 out of 9? It's 6 out of 9. So there's 3 to go after this. But that's why I'm only playing this game today, because I'm... Yeah. Big long stream of just Twilight Princessing. Here is up, Lexus. Oh, this is locked. There's another crystal up there, I see. 6 out of 9. Nice. Hey, I'll finish it. Again. Oh, so it's, it's Thursday today, right? Which makes you think that there will actually not be a direct this week, but then it should surely happen next week, right? Also, I should probably um, switch to the slingshot. The ammunition for that is easier to get. But I guess I keep getting arrows, so I guess who cares? Copium? Is it copium? Maybe it is copium. I thought it's basically guaranteed, but... Maybe not. Do I have to do like, the health splitter? I guess that works. Hey, keep not being able to do the finisher. Next direct is, sil next direct is Silkstone, 100% Copium. Let's see, that is Copium. But I'm de definitely on board. I'm always on board for some Silkstone news. Okay, my idea was to throw this over to the button, but I'm pretty sure it would just break. Yeah. So I guess we just keep going this way. Oh, but then later on when I have the Dominion Rod, then I think I can go there. That would at least make sense. Pokemon League, by the way. I mean, I saw that apparently Nintendo uh, Pokemon posted some Gen 5 footage on their Twitter, right? Do I remember this correctly? Have I heard this correctly? Which... It's actually really funny because I kept saying that I haven't played Gen 5 and I would like to play Gen 5. I would actually get really excited for those re potential remakes if they didn't look like brilliant diamonds and shining pearl because I absolutely hated that art style personally. If you enjoy it, this is, this is not an attack. It's just not my style. 
Gen 5 doesn't need a remake? It doesn't, probably. Like, I just don't really have an option to play the original right now because I don't have a DS. And I feel like DS emulators are kind of... I don't know, is there good DS emulators? I feel like they're probably mostly annoying, right? With the second screen, or is there good ones? Maybe they work pretty well. But at least I'm pretty sure they posted it on Twitter. That wasn't just a dream, was it? Interesting. I, I just kind of killed them all because they annoyed me. But I guess it gave me 50 bucks. I will take that. Hmm. Looks like a scale. It seems like it is a scale. <laughs> remake gen 2 this year not 5 but what was that post about and like i'm not sure if i was the only one that saw that post but they they just tweeted like one of the gen 5 legendaries i'm pretty sure on twitter which doesn't have to mean anything but it does kind of seem suspicious oh i'm an idiot i could have i get it now i think what? Okay, I was gonna say. The Super Good Twilight Princess aim. What's up, number? There was a 3D Mario League? And what was the Pokemon League about you just talked about? Was that about a different game then? Last is over doing Arbits to Grounds. Yeah, yesterday I did the um, Snow Peak, which is probably my was my favorite so far. And wait, did I break this now by the way? Can I throw these? Okay, you can, thank god. I thought for a second I broke it. Um, and then also the lead up to the Temple of Time. And today I'm doing all of the end game. Yeah, the vault is still available obviously from yesterday and I'm also uploading the playthrough. Let's go Togepi. <laughs> Wait, actually? Oh hell no. Wait, so this makes no difference. I thought this would have made a difference. It, it kind of doesn't. But why? So Link is heavier than the statue. Or is this a little bugged? What's up, Link? Okay, Link is heavier than the statue. What's up, Luki? Mm, I just saw this thing. Does this do anything? Telling me this doesn't connect? Rude. What obvious information am I missing this time around? I know that there's three statues up there that I can't move. I picked up one statue from up there. I could put two statues on the left scale plus Link, but that doesn't change anything. Wait, can I hook straight up here? I cannot. Don't skip physics class. What does that have to do with Link's weight? Is that something they teach in your physics class? 
I would have liked to take that physics class, if I'm being honest. What would you rather recommend? Playing Twilight Prince or Ocarina of Time? I don't know, because I haven't played Ocarina of Time. Okay, so this way, I don't reach it. Oh, because it's not even on there. I thought it was on there. It's, it's weird, when it's on that ledge, it's kind of bugged. Actually, why did I haven't played Ocarina of Time? I mean, again, when I was uh, young, my parents wouldn't really allow me to play many games at all. And then I feel like when you're like 14, you're interest usually interested in like other games. And then when I was like, I mean, yeah, because again, then Twilight Princess was out and that's what I was interested in. Wait, was this thing there the entire time? Can I like ball and chain the pillar? It's not my first playthrough, no, I played it like, it basically is, because I played it 16 years ago for the last time. So I don't really remember what you have to do. Okay, the ball and chain doesn't attack with it, making me think that it's probably more like the dominion rod that does. There's a crack in the wall, there's a Beyblade. A Beyblade thing up there that I hadn't seen before. It links heavier than this. One day I'll play Ocarina of Time for sure. Again, that's probably another one where there might be a remake one day. But who knows? Can I throw it up there? I think that's too high, isn't it? Oh, wait. Okay, it didn't seem like you could do that, I'll be honest. But I guess you can. I thought this would be too high. I am enjoying it this time around still, uh, especially I feel like because I liked it so much growing up, like I am remembering things. Oh, I'm probably gonna get the, the minion rod somewhere at the end of this hallway because it seems like it's about time that I'll have it available. I can definitely... I, I Back then though, I feel like I hadn't played that many games before, right? Like, at all. From beginning to end. Also, God, thank you so much for the 38 months. Like, in, in the first place, I haven't, hadn't played that many video games in general and I have never really played a Zelda game. But that made like the, the adventure feel so special and magical, I would say. Um, and now, after I've played a bunch of other games and I've like watched like video essays on this game and people commonly talk about stuff like the pacing that they don't enjoy as much, I, I feel like I can see a lot more of these problems. I'm probably able to ignore them more because I still think it does feel nice and special and I, there's a lot of things that I like about this game a lot, like the writing and some of the more dark moments, I think, are done so well. And again, that sense of like a big adventure, I think, works out great. But I feel like the, the issues that I never saw at all... I wouldn't even call them issues, I feel like issues sound so aggressive. But it's like some of the um, le less strong points, I feel like I'm more aware of now after having played so many more games and obviously time having passed. I think playing this game in also Skyward Sword does make me realize that my ideal Zelda in the future is what is kind of exactly what I want them to do, what I keep saying I want them to do. I don't want them to make a straight up linear Zelda that's like this or like Skyward Sword. But I also don't want them to make it fully free. You can go wherever you want, Breath of the Wild type Zelda. I want like something in between. Put the progression and the, the, the item based progression back, but still give us like more freedom to explore and don't make players like constantly go back and forth on the linear path. What do you think um, this game's shortcomings are? For example, that, right? I think especially earlier in the game, it was pretty apparent. It's like 
You go to Arukaz and then you go back to Kakariko. Especially when you don't even have the teleporting yet. That, that's what I think people complain about a lot, that it feels quite hand -hooked. Like, you have to do this now, you have to do this now. And um, it, sometimes it can feel kind of tedious. And obviously, this is something that I think I had trauma of or something. Uh, obviously not really, but I, I guess I just completely pushed it out of my brain. The escort mission. I mean, it's like a small point. That escort mission was wildly annoying. I ended up not doing it in too many attempts, but... Wow, that was definitely great content. Not. Oh, Professor Layton. Is it Professor Layton or Dr. Layton? I don't remember. But that game had a nice charm. I'm, I, I wish I had a DS. Like, yeah, you can have an emulator, but actually having a physical DS would make me play some handheld games like on the couch. Imagine Nintendo allowing us to play... Oh, shit. Is this the first Dark Nord or Dark Nut fight? I think so, right? Holy shit, fighting the Giga Chat. People want these to return so badly, and I see why. Like, imagine fighting like a huge armored enemy. That could be great in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> this is not even what I wanted to do, but it kind of worked. Okay, so I might have to hand split him. Oh, how do you head to the one? Why does... I did ZR? And I jumped to the... Okay, wait. So this is not what you're supposed to do. I guess alternatively, I still have the ball and chain, which I'm not assuming is going to do much here. This is just going to block them. I hope there wasn't a sword move that was expected to have at this point. Okay, no. It's just like a one-on-one one -on -one break the arm or turn battle. I, the camera here is annoying sometimes. Like, there I pressed left. I want to jump around him to do this attack. But you have to alter your stick kind of weirdly sometimes. It feels kind of unnatural you to hold your stick here sometimes. Yeah, okay, the shield that he has makes it so that I can't then split him. What? See, there again, I'm holding right. But it counts as holding forward because of the camera. I guess you're mostly supposed to kind of like wait for him to attack you and then win. Oh, shit. Okay, so now he has no armor anymore, so he goes for the fast sword. I mean, yeah, imagine how cool this could have been in Tears of the Kingdom. This is more like a Phantom Ganon fight now. Imagine like a samurai version of these. That would be sick. You know, again, I'm reminded of a Dark Souls Twilight Princess parallel that I keep talking about. I think this was the first time that I have seen in a game, again, I didn't play many games early on, because this is basically a mini boss, and if I remember correctly, this becomes like a normal enemy in Hyrule Castle later. And that's something that they ended up doing a lot in the Souls games later, where they present you with like a boss, and it seems it's like this really challenging task. And then later on, these enemies just run around in the world normally. All right, there's the um, the Dominion Rod. This amazing rod can infuse ancient statues with life. I did remember this item. Don't remember how it controls though. Not like Tears of the Kingdom refights, um, because in in Tears of the Kingdom they still kind of count as as bosses there, right? But imagine. Um, like imagine a moblin at early on or like a boss book hoblin would be like a normal boss would be like a mini boss in the early game let's say at the end of the great sky island you have to fight one and then later in the late game just kind of run around as like normal enemies
Yeah, yeah. And and I think this part... Oh, I can, I guess, use it on the statue. Didn't, didn't hit. There we go. Um, and I think they could apply this dungeon thing. It doesn't have to be restricted to... It doesn't have to be restricted to dungeons. Let's say you start off in like an early game area. Let's call it Link Grave. Okay, so the next Zelda game has like an early game area called Link Grave. And in Link Grave, you, um, there's like three major dungeons you can go to. One is like a big castle, let's say, Hyrule, not Hyrule Castle, some other castle, let's say, um, Gale Wind Castle. Um, the other one is a water temple, and the other one is a fire temple. They're like, they're all like adjacent to Link Grave. And um, you can do them in any order, but for example, if you do the water temple, in the water temple you gain an ability to start going underwater. And by going underwater, you can actually leave Link Grave at this one specific lake to reach another area where there's like a dungeon that you can only do after having actually done the water temple. So if you wanted to, you could actually do the water temple, get the diving ability, dive in the water and reach the ice temple. And in the ice temple, you get another ability. And maybe Hyrule Castle is in the middle of all of this. But in order to reach Hyrule Castle, the late game world, you need to have at least defeated five out of the eight optional temples scattered around the world. So kind of, you know, taking a bit of both. That's what I think could be really cool. <laughs> So what does this do? It gets like suction cupped. What? What even happened? It got downloaded. Okay, that's apparently enough to open the door. So you're saying you'd like to be accosted by a mob of Queen Gyptos while walking around castle? No, no. Not necessarily, but Binks, you know what I'm saying. Don't troll me. You know how the beast man of Faramazula is like a boss? And then later on, they're all around Faramazula, just like normal enemies. And that's something that the Souls series has done a lot, like in Dark Souls 3, the Dragon Slayer armor is like a challenging boss fight, but later in the DLC, it's just an enemy. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for the Dark Souls. So what am I supposed to do here? Really? What? There we go. Wait, can these things attack? Oh, it seems like these can only walk. And they can't walk up the stairs. Is there some crystal that I can shoot that I'm not seeing? No. What am I not seeing this time around again? Oh, wait. Wait, so... Wait, what's going on? It can't go up the stairs. This is the room where I killed these guys earlier. Wait, did I softlock myself by making it go down? No. But maybe I can... Does it even work on these guys? It does. But that doesn't do anything. You mentioned Soldier of Godric was a regular enemy monka, I say exactly. That would be uh, scary. Wait, I'm, I'm kind of... I, I probably didn't, but like... Did I mess up by making him go down the stairs? Probably not. Probably just not seeing something. Wait, was there another entrance to this? No. Wait, how did he even go in here? <laughs> At the end of the day, rules make things fun, and sure, being able to do whatever you want can be fun sometimes, the structure is important. I definitely agree, like, okay, it's back here. I definitely agree, like I said, in the Fire Temple, it felt like you had to actively try so hard to not break the game. And that made me personally enjoy the game less, because I was like, well, I could just climb up the wall, maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. To me, that made the enjoyment of the game less. Okay, I see that there's a button here now. Do these things count as statues? 
I didn't think there was. And this thing basically was spawned here now, right? Why is this so tricky? I'm always afraid that I'm just not seeing like a grappling hook thing just out of the screen. Wait, there's no other statue that I can dominion rod from here, right? And I'm pre still pretty sure this one doesn't connect. I'm thinking too hard. Yeah, most likely. Maybe there's just a mechanic of this statue that I haven't figured out yet. That's what I tend to do in this game a lot. Again, I think it's partially because I've already played it. Oh. <laughs> See, I was trying this earlier by swinging my sword. I thought I had to swing my sword to do this. Because, I, again, I remember that... Why would it have a huge hammer if all it can do is run around? That doesn't make sense. You know? Uh, I guess I'm supposed to bring one of these statues, huh? This is base. Oh yeah, this is basically this basically turns into like an escort mission now. Oh no, this is a bad idea. I should um, use a pot so I can break it. I remember I have to basically bring the homie around with me now. Hey, sleepy. Mr. Hammer. Ow. I was gonna say, they were so close. Can I hit these things? Oops. Oh, you actually can! Giga shot. Oh wait, am I not supposed to bring this one all the way back to the start? Those are kind of the point why I'm here, right? Right. I remember now, this is like the main reason I'm here in the first place. Can I smash this guy? <laughs> this one there does look suspicious though, like it wants me to... Maybe it does wanna... It does want me to put it there because... I think? Because otherwise... I couldn't get it through the door. Also, I'm crunchy. Now we're back in this room. Now it's here. Okay, spawning here. I do wonder if I need to use the scale again. I do think so. Because I have more options with this now. Can I not just walk it off like this? I cannot. Okay. Right, so now I need to... Please. Put a bunch of weight on the other side. Try to ignore these for now. Because now I have access of these statues as well. Ok, 
Okay. Now we probably need at least three over here. Wait, how heavy is Link? Link is actually so heavy. Because he's as heavy as like two of these statues. Okay. And the big statue, I'm assuming, I don't know if it's two or five, uh, four or five of the small ones. We're about to find out. Four. So the statue is twice as heavy as Link. That is kind of wild. Ultra hand would be a bit smoother for this shri shrine. Yeah. Uh, temple, I agree. So I guess this is kind of the concept in this temple. You go to like the end, right? It seems this way. I basically went all the way to the end of it. I got the dominion rod and now I'm bringing the statue all the way back to the entrance where then a doorway to the boss should open. That's actually also kind of a cool concept. Like the level designs in these is so cool. Big fan. This, this, honestly, unironically though, is kind of like an escort mission done right. Like, it's not super high pace, super fun, but I still really enjoy it. Simply for, um, like, a, yeah, it's like a cool way to do a puzzle. Could have seen that coming. I, but I think this is really cool. Also, at least so far, I feel like the temples have been... I don't know what people think. I, I feel like the lake bed temple... Normally, obviously, dungeons progress over time, but I feel like so far the lake bed temple and the Arbiter's Grounds have been like by far the most complex dungeons. I don't remember how the city in the sky and the Twilight's temple later will like stack up against them. So you can break those. But uh, that's at least how I feel about it. For now. Eventually I can have a more informed rating. Uh, I should have probably broken that wall first. Now I need to waste an arrow. I always remember this one being a bit more challenging than the other dungeons puzzle-wise. Really? Maybe there's still a part coming up. Actually, I guess the scale puzzle that, uh, did some kind of... Confuse me a lot, but maybe there's still some really challenging bits left that I have not figured out yet. That's actually really funny that you can do this. Huh? The camera is kind of weird. Oh. It was. Right 
back door. Spiders are really annoying though. I don't know why. I, I, I feel like the Arbiter's Grounds map was just very confusing for me. This one, in terms of like, maybe maybe the puzzles here are a little bit more challenging. But I do. Wait, can I not get this, let this guy go? Okay, I can. What I do remember is. Um, The level design of this one is at least pretty easy, I think. Where this is like a straight line and you go back. But in the Arbiter's Grounds, it's easier to get lost. And in the Lake Bear Temple, it's obviously super easy to get lost at least, I think. Or be confused where you gotta go. Wait, that was that didn't happen before. That's actually kind of foreshadowing. That's what I said. I was scared, oh. scared of. What? Okay, goodbye, spiders. Bye, bye. Okay, this is here now. We're almost back. I know that there's bigger spiders coming up. I am aware. Okay. Um, and I guess we're here. We've made it. Can you go up the stairs? another door we unlocked the door to find another door but this one is open thankfully Ooh, and this looks like a more wow this is the abandoned part of the dungeon this dude again i don't know if i'm just dark souls brains but i'm starting to think that especially dark souls i don't know if there's like because dark souls has openly said what they were inspired by and they were both inspired by berserk i guess i haven't read enough berserk i need to read berserk because i see dark souls here everywhere like i immediately see sense fortress here which like this is probably not the first video game that did these sort of traps but this is immediately what i'm reminded of okay i'm clearly missing something oh there's a button What? How oh, did that not hit? I keep saying how much Hyrule Castle in this game reminds me of Anno Londo. Okay, actually... Oh, I guess I can grab a look through? Wait, no, I can't. Should I be in front of the door? Oh, can I throw a statue over there? I guess so. Surely they will respawn, right? I guess it's played safe. Uh, 
Is this safe? Okay. okay, can I even reach this far? I guess I can. At least it shows the yellow. Wait, but I don't have the key. Do I have the key? I don't remember getting the key. Oh. Oh no. Okay, I'm clearly missing something important. Oh shit. Fairy time. We take those. It's actually the first time I think I've caught a fairy. Well, shit. I've missed something. Not in here, not in here, not in here. Ugh, is it really all the way back here? It's the only room that... No, not quite. They oh, there's a complete room. Oh no, it was all the way up here. I haven't entered this room. I'm not thinking that I would have to go there. That's annoying. Well, um, okay, I'm actually very surprised that I shot hit. It's kind of useless that I even kill them because I'm pretty sure they'll all respawn. I guess it hit my um, my fingers. Oh, it actually spawned me on the right side. Okay. I need this game and switch. We were talking about this earlier. I was wondering if this is something that people would still buy, but it seems like apparently it is still pretty requested. So maybe there's hope. Uh, no. I have to press the switch again? Annoying. I can't believe I missed that. I mean, that's kind of unf unfair because I was thinking the key would probably still be coming up, but I guess should have known better. Should have known better. Should have already pre scouted the map. Well, even then, I feel actually, yeah, no, I would have been able to tell because there were no chests on the way to the boss. Oh, oh, because I destroyed the gates, so that's just open now. That's at least something. This part is annoying, though. Will these pots even be heavy enough? Okay, there will be. And then once I get this key, it might be faster to actually use the man chicken. To get back out and re-enter with the key. Okay, so this room had nothing. But this room had something. I don't think that's where it is though. Probably not. There's still a Poe here, which is good, but I can't be bothered right now. I'm not going to get all of the Poes anyway. Okay. Floor four. Was this here before? It was, it was. Of course. And of course I need it. This sort of stuff, I feel like it's a little unfortunate. Like, I don't think you need to see this cutscene every single time you hit it. 
But maybe the technology just wasn't there yet. Wait. There was another room on the other side. That's where I got the key from. There's no way that the sword would have been there. Oh, that's the key would have been there. So just destroyed all of these walls, but I don't even know if the game would have remembered. Fire Princess is next to Breath of the Wild, your favorite? Yeah, I can definitely... I think it is still up there. It should still be up there. Okay. <laughs> I tried. For me as well, is what I, is what, that's what I mean. Like, obviously, each everyone has their own. For me, e so far, I still have some stuff, some stuff to get through. The rating would probably be... When it comes to casual playthrough, like first playthrough, I would still rank Tears of the Kingdom over Breath of the Wild, but it's kind of unfair because of how much of a fan I was of the first game. Overall, I think Breath of the Wild just still comes out on top for me. Also, Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting uh, five subs to the channel. Damn. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Um, that is very kind of you. Also, this is where I'm missing the room. I'm missing a room here, up there. Wait. I'm kind of afraid that I'm doomed now. Am I doomed? <laughs> Because I don't have the big robot with me, like the big statue with me. Thank you so much, Anonymous, seriously. Or is there a way to get up there anyway? I hope there's a way, but it's using the five statues. Otherwise, I'll be very sad. I thought maybe I could... Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Was I only able to get the key with the statue here? And then how would I... Would I have to bring it all the way back? I, I'm getting scared. I'm getting real scared right now. Okay, wait, no. It doesn't even move more than this. This is the most... This is This is maxed out. But I can go here now? There's the Beyblade thing? How, how would I reach the Beyblade thing? Oh, now I can go here. That's right. I was thinking about this. Ah. You went to the boss without getting the key? That's right. That's right. I was expecting the key would be after the door. That's how it usually was structured. Okay, this it does feel bad to not get the pole when it's literally right there. But I already know I won't get all of them, but maybe there's gonna be a good reward for just getting some of them. Yeah, I wish the spinner would be a little bit more useful outside of the rails for it because it does feel kind of fun to use but it seems like it's mostly used for when there's like a specific path for it yeah you can use it on sand and snow to uh, walk around i'm aware but i almost preferred overriding i wish it, i guess they couldn't have made it faster than um Faster than a horse, because then why would you even use the horse? Oh, 
There we go. Uh, there we go, right? Right. Shouldn't the gate like open or something? No, it shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's more. Okay. Gotta solve another puzzle. What is in here? I guess we just have to put the statues down. Three statues. What does it mean? It'd be great if it just increased movement speed as well. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like a shield surf in in uh, Breath of the Wild, but it's like battery controlled. Okay. So I could just stand there. Is it enough to only open it once? I would assume no. I'm assuming the second I step off of it. The gate closes again. And that is correct. What other ways would I have? I see the pots down there, but I don't think I could throw them up this high. I don't think I'm missing a statue. I could dominion rot them. There's the shells I got. Yo, what's up, Hermetic? I am enjoying this so far. I think so far I prefer Snow Peak Ruins over it, but this is still pretty good. The chest. Uh, I don't think you can Best pick up a chest, can you? If you can, I didn't know. Um, the, the, the pots down there seem really suspicious and the shells seem too. Eat the armor up. Yeah, I can try, but I feel like, again, I think it's too high. Yeah. I'm not very good at knowing how high you can throw something. It's gotta be something obvious that I'm not seeing. Like maybe it's timed and I can just stand on here and roll down in time. Nope, it does go down pretty much immediately. Huh, one last tricky puzzle left before the boss. Can you grab the, this one with the, the hookshot? Yeah, you can. But I only currently have one hook shot. Overthinking it again. Okay. So like maybe maybe it tells you who's up exist. Yo Lim, what's up, Peepo Pog? Climbing tree, hard for house. Mm. How am I overthinking it? Because if I stand under the door, opens, but then I can't get into the door. Hmm, what? Like, I I'm trying to think what an e what would be the easiest way to solve this, in my opinion, would be to stand on there and then roll down in time. That's not the case. Or another way that I would overthink is if there's a statue that I don't see. Maybe these pots have something in them. Oh. The wall looks damaged, but that, that I think is overthinking. And if I had the big road here, I could destroy the a thing, but of course I can't do that. It would be logical if I didn't need to use the Dominion Rod for something. But how would that help me here? Because I would have to be physically up here. Or maybe there's like some markings on the map that show you only these need to be pressed down. Or they like stay pressed down longer? No, I don't see it. I don't want hints yet. I will probably take them soon because I do want to actually make progress today. 
But it seems so simple, yet not. Like, it seems like I'm just missing a statue. But it's clearly beyond this. Because one was on the shelf up here. One was on the shelf up there. Or you can s somehow get the pot up, and I don't know how. Oh, the dominion rods. Does this have something in it? Okay, the question is today. Oh, and also the shells. Or oh, maybe you can hook the shells. I've never tried this. It would make sense because you get them in the water sample. If that's the case, I have never done this. Okay, I've never done this. I did not know this is a thing. So maybe I was supposed to know this by now, but I didn't. So I, I feel like that was not overthought then. Because I just simply didn't know this is a, this is a thing you can do. Until now. Oh, wait. It's probably faster. Will this break anything? Can I use this? You can return to right here. Oh, never mind. This doesn't help, actually. <laughs> or does it help? Can I just re-enter normally? And then I'll be at the beginning? Because Arma said yes. You can walk back in without using it, and then you'll actually be at the start? Okay, that's good. That is so cursed. Oh, Uko Jr. He is the one who brings me there. Well, yeah. Cool. Bye. Most normal warp animation. Somehow in HD even more cursed? Yeah. Some things you don't want to see in HD. Oh, sorry, you're doing this. Okay, we're back. But this time we have the key. Alright, so again, I'm kind of scared right now of the boss, not because it's ugly and scary, but because, again, in my mind, I remember how the boss fight kind of goes. I remember it's a big spider and you have to hit it with big hammers. Um, but maybe I'm missing a step and I'm going to overthink it and struggle. We'll find out. That sounds good, Liz. I don't know if the spider is about to make any disgusting, distracting noises. I hope not. Time for the spiders right now. In Hylian, if you read them, they say Master, Sword, and Copy Rod. Oh, the inscription at the entrance. Okay. Alright. And I'm pretty sure. Okay. I, first of all, I don't, don't remember these robots to be this large. And I do remember being. Playing this for the first time and actually getting scared when Link is about to look up there, like, I mean... That's a pretty disgusting boss. Alright, so let's use our normal Zelda brain for this boss fight. How would you start a fight like this? You would probably shoot it. But you can't because the eye is closed. Okay, that 
that didn't do anything. Okay. So, it was a combination of both. Shoot the eye. Shoot the eye and also use the hammer. What is it doing? Oh my god. Okay, so this part I did not remember. Maybe I was supposed to have the big spin attack for this because it seems like it would have been pretty helpful to have here. God, I'm getting, I'm getting thrown around. Help! like it would have really hurt. I guess uh, they're at least kind enough to spawn some hearts and some arrows. So this is actually helpful. God, the camera in this game is definitely a weakness. I would say. Ouch. What was that? Ugh. I don't remember this part either. I was like, what was that expression change? Wait, what? I don't remember this at all. This is a thing? Okay. Apparently this is a thing. I don't remember this happened. Kind of a banger sound track though. Alright. Mirror piece 3 out of 4. Three of the mirror shards are ours. Just one left. That's right. And it's in the sky. Link. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. Oh shit. You know, we could be assembling something truly terrible here. Oh, I do know where this is leading. It could ultimately be something that will ultimate it could be something that will ultimately have to destroy foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. We have to hurry. Let's find the last shard link. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposedly where it's supposed to be. Alright. Let's pick up the hard one here though. I'll take it. I'm good. Even though I technically still have a hard container here, but again. Not going for 100%. Hmm. Let's save it. Okay. Now... 
this is still something okay i guess i should go to telma because i skipped that the last two times and i like, kind of remember what we have to do here like a little bit like i said i remember that we can now go back to kakariko and we can kind of go past the um that statue and i think that's where like the cannon extension or the cannon the other cannon is to reach the sky like that's what i remember but i don't know if the game just lets you do that speaking of statues can you control these now you can't see and this is like oh i did not think that's what would happen i didn't think that that's what would happen you went to an air break earlier when I asked, but what are your thoughts on Twilight Princess now that you are playing it for the first time since your childhood? Um, yeah, that's basically what I said. I mentioned that I feel like the pacing, I can see the pacing. The base, I basically, I still like it and I'm um, reminded a lot of the fond memories as a kid and i think it d does very much feel like an epic adventure but um oh, oh. i can see more of its issues if you want to go back on the vault girls i would actually because i probably talked about it for like three or five minutes um i think i give more better thoughts there because right now my brain is full of trying to figure out what i have to do i think i could just go to kakariko but i think i should probably go to telma first because um, that's where you're supposed to go, and I don't really remember how the uh, how this is how this goes. Oh, nice piece of art. Um, and Telma tells you where the next locations have been. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't beating the rest of the game in a single stream a little ambitious? Uh, depends. We have three dungeons left. Um, I think from from now it should be doable in like 10 to 12 hours unless I'm way off but that's what I'm like expecting but maybe I'm forgetting like huge portions of the game Oh, yeah, right. She wants to return to the sky. The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If you can restore magic to the dominion rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Oh, because... Ah, this is the issue. The dominion rod is not active outside of the temple of time. Really, in my mind, all we have to do now is like... What I remember... It, but it might be way off. It's like, you have to like restore Ilya's memories. I remember that for sure. You do the city in the sky, the Twilight Temple, and then you return to Hyrule Castle. Where the final part of the game takes place. But I must be forgetting something like massive then. If it can't be beaten in 12 hours. Oh, like that's a long time to stream for. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. That's, that's usually beyond my stream length. But that was the plan for today because I really want to start doing Elden Ring randomizers tomorrow. I do I okay I agree with you there that is a longer stream than uh, than usual but definitely doable Okay um let's ask tell me what's up She usually knows Let's not forget to transform into human. Oh, maybe we already get a different information here. Please, Mr. Link, I've come to the letter. Three letters? We've missed a lot. This guy always happens to come. Yeah, he always visits you here. I was kind of expecting him. I knew he was gonna happen, uh, he was gonna come, but I wasn't sure. What the letters would have, but let's check them. About Ilya's memory. Exactly. There is something about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. 
I know you're busy, but please come visit me in the sanctuary in Kakariko Village. So maybe I came here for no reason. Uh, I was so happy to meet you and spend time with you. I'm planning to trip to a new location. I haven't didn't have a chance to tell you this last time, but I have a son. Oh no, this is not new. Oh here, Agitha's dream. Agitha dreamed last night. Butterflies around Agitha. Oh, she talks about herself in third person. Butterflies surrounded her and lifted her up to the sky. As she waved down to the people below the in Castle Town, she could see so many people. Agitha wants so badly to fly in the sky. Kinda sounds like it would be a hint. From wife of Yeto. I feel bad. You paid me visit and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots now. Very much fun. Right, she wants to do the snowboarding mini game. I do want to try that at least at some point. Um, well, I was gonna go to Telma, but we got direct information to visit Kakariko Village, I guess. Which was a golden wolf there. Yeah, they, were, they had such a happy reunite. Uh, what would you say? A happy reunation? If that's a word, I've never heard it. Oh, he's mad. Okay, actually, this isn't kind of helpful. <laughs> I didn't really want to meet him right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I just said. New skill in the graveyard. Might, uh, I'm, if I have time, I might check that out. What the? F oh, is that the boss? It is the boss from the second temple. Holy. All right. Oh. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Elias recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend Shad? All right, Giga Shad. Well, it seems he is researching the heavens and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. Perfect. And as I've learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the rod of the heavens or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. Certain it was Thelma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her f First, please take this to Tema. Okay, I am actually glad that I got here first because that would have been really unfortunate. Also, Tim Tom, thank you so much for the subscription for three months in advance. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you for the support, dude. That's a long time to subscribe for just like that. Set it to Y, X, or R to show it. Okay. Shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Link. Oh, interesting. The minion rod is useless for now, so we might as well just put it here. Um, okay, let me go to the graveyard to learn the skill and then go to Telma. Also, Tsuka Princess, thank you so much for the three years. It's good to see you. Um, 36 three months. Years. Hype. That's incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Seriously. I really appreciate it. Very good Zelda game. I am enjoying it, Vollmarkose. So we are back to the graveyard once again, but this time we have to visit this guy with sword in hand. Just like this. What was the last skill I've learned? Was it the backslash one? No, I think it was something else. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was the helm splitter? Let's see. <clears throat> we meet again. At last. The skill I have to teach you have the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten. Ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel to do you feel ready to learn these skills? I'm sure. Very well. But before we begin, I must test... Okay, it was the Helm Splitter. Um, to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the Helm Splitter. Thank you, Volmakosa, for the Prime, by the way. Enjoy I appreciate it. the support. Boom. Comboed. 
Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fifth hidden skill is the mortal draw. What the hell? That's a Sekiro skill. Let it be hooned into your mind. You. Are we using the mortal blade? The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and back slices. Oh, so the, the guy that I fought earlier, basically. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I'm about to teach you is the most effective. You must sheath your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the ZL target. You must wait until your foe is upon you. Just cast aside, so I can use ZL target? Then before the enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. So like I pretend I don't see them and then I like... Yeah. I'm like... So just kind of... Oh, I, I like sheathe my sword. I'm like la la la. La la. Okay. <clears throat> was a pointed strike. But do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw, has been passed on. I completely forgot this one is in the game. I don't remember using this when I first played it. Although, the mortal draw in Sekiro is cooler. But this one is still pretty good. Also, Sekiro is like, came out like 15 years, well, 13 years after this game. Also, Kuha, thank you for the raid. I don't know if you're doing some Breath of the Wild grinding again. I know that's what you've recently been doing. If you did, I hope it went well. Thank you for the raid party. Uh, I am not ending the stream today until I beat this game. Even if that means I'm up until 4am. We are currently on the pathway towards the 7th temple, which then will begin the true late game. First all dungeons run. Oh. Not all the dungeons. Kind of a classic. <laughs> but I have to leave at 10 Sag. Well, obviously this will all be on YouTube and on the mods channel. But tomorrow instead, uh, if you're mod him tomorrow, I'm going to be doing rando. Oh shit, <laughs> I keep forgetting this. Uh, randomizer continuation Tears of the Kingdom and then a Elden Ring randomizer. And then on Saturday, obviously, outfit stream. Well, I'm also going to be doing potentially more Tears of the Human Randomizer first. Outfit stream? Yeah, exclamation point contest. I wish there was an equivalent for the wolf. Our equivalent skills for the wolf. Yeah, that's true. Um, it seems like you only really use the wolf when you have to. I, I feel that. I do feel that. What is this? Oh, this is a bakery. I was trying to make out what those images are. But I think that's baked bread. Okay, this bar is always open. Please, good man. Have I visited that market? Yes, I have. I haven't done the quest to bring it back yet. But I have seen that the HD version has Breath of the Wild images in there, which is cool. Oh, well, isn't it from Renardo the Shaman? Uh, if you mean, you mean like the shop armors? Uh, that's what I thought you meant. All this writing. Yeah, and the armor is like 400k. <laughs> All this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course, I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm. What else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to the shop was the doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat. That's for sure. Ah, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This, li this magic little paper will get that codger talking. You got the invoice. 
This invoice is for the town doctor running tap, which is an astronomical sum. What? Is that the sum? It says bill. Wait. Bomb impact launch was actually already predicted by this note. I can't believe it. Um, it's like 175 million. Oh, least, least expensive doctor. Uh, and sorry, where was this guy supposedly? Can you break? Oh, I, I, I'm gonna ask her again. Sorry, Midnight, it doesn't tell me. I kind of missed it. Where did you say? Um. Wait, that's kind of confusing. She told me. Wait, was the doctor? She wants me to show the invoice to the doctor. But she also wants me to go to Shud. Did I miss a line? Where did she say? Okay, I'm actually asking for direct advice. You can answer it in chat. Where did she say the doctor was, if anyone knows? Because I straight up just missed it. It does say build OKB, right? I saw it. I think he, she may have said something about the town plaza. In the, she just said in the town, like not specifically where. You restarted here on the OLED. I recently played a bit on the OLED. I've never really used the OLED. Um, <clears throat> the OLED. This guy wasn't a doctor. Actually, you know what? If I'm not getting my hard connected from this guy right now, I'm going to be mad. I don't think it specifies. Okay. Uh, I played a little bit on the OLED screen and it looks so nice. If I'm still... I've paid this guy like 600 rupees now. I'm assuming it has to be like a thousand. I just... I, I, I'm so stubborn. I will keep paying this man until I eventually get something from this. I keep going. You know, this is like the... This feels like the meme of the guy digging the tunnel and you're like just before the diamonds. You just gotta keep going. Never quit. Yep, keep pain. Eventually it'll be worth it. Would be stupid to quit now. We're like basically right there. Dude, I've paid this guy like 800. How much does he need? I guess he needs a thousand. Seems to be the most likely. It's for a good cause. It's for the love of Hyrule. Right. Right. I guess we're spreading love. Because money is... This is the message that this game has been spreading, really. They said money makes you happy and it spreads love. And it rules the world. This is actually the capitalism game. Okay, this is the insect lady. No, this is not insect lady. Who was this again? Oh, this is the fortune teller. Fortune teller, insect lady... Is he spying on her? What? What business do you have with Agitha? You don't look like you have any same interests as Agitha. You listening? I'm only going to say this once. If you don't like bugs, then you're better off not hassling her. Okay, so he's like a creepy stalker fanboy. Understood? What's this guy on about? Was he looking into the tent? You can play fetch with the dog. That's cute. Oh, was it like an indirect hint and this is the doctor? Do you like dogs? They're cute. If you throw a bone, they bring it back, you know? But he's not doing it. I threw the, I threw the bone. This dog is really cute, though. Look, in this game, you can pick up dogs and cats. What happened to Zelda? Try again. Actually, he does. Okay, I think I lost the bone, though. I think it clipped out of bounds. I'm not even kidding, by the way. It's gone. Maybe respawns when I go back there next time. Okay. <sighs> Who here looks like a doctor?
These are musicians. I wouldn't say the doctor would be running around. Maybe he's in the coffee shop. If I was a doctor, where would I go? I would probably be rich. I don't think this is a doctor. These people fell in love. There's the town viewing deck. Maybe, oh, maybe he's in the shop. In the rich people shop. Because that's... That's where I would spend my 10 billions of money I make from uh, scamming patients. <laughs> I think there's a smell to pick up as wolf. Oh wait, of the letter? No. Unless it is, but how would that even work? Is this a doctor? Okay, you can't even talk to these people. I just paid 10 rupees for nothing. What's what's up, Muix? Muix. Um, wait, what would I even... Which scent would I... Would I pick up? I don't think you can pick up the scent of the letter. I'm over here wondering, same as you, because I don't remember any details about this game. Yeah, this is exactly... This is my experience. What's up, Razor? I remember the, the, like, the bosses and the base structure, but all of these details between the dungeons completely forgotten. Completely forgotten. Okay, let's say I'm a doctor, I work in Hyrule Castle, I'm a billionaire. Where do I hang out? In the bar. Wait, is this the bar? What is this? It's a bar. But he wouldn't be in the bar. Wait, is this the bar? Wait. It's Robbie. Huh? Is this the doctor I randomly found him? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's admirable, the, the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it that you want, lad? A physical? You have some money, don't you? This is doctor, right? By the way, that girl, Ilya, didn't mention anything about me, did she? But it's literally Robbie. Right? Like, this is what Robbie's based off. I mean, I guess it's just a generic old man, but yeah. Uh, look, I can't pay this off right now. Wait, why does he have to pay money? Oh, is this his tap? Like, this is how much he's drinking or what? Uh, I can see Thomas hired you as some sort of heavy, strong army. Uh, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, I've been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had. If I'd been able to sell that wooden statue that young, young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then... But it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on guard, eh? Uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now to work, to work. Okay, see, now I understand. This is this part of the scent, right? We need to pick up the scent of medicine, I'm assuming, and then we would find where the statue is. But he said he put the medicine over the statue outside, so maybe there's like a medicine scent there. The dog doesn't reach after all. Okay, but to be fair, the bill was for like 170 million or something. Wait, he said he drizzled medicine over it outside, right? So wouldn't that mean... No. Not quite. There's a lot of details, it's, it's really nice. Wait, who's supposed to be seeing me right now? Wait, what is he, what is he saying? I think you should leave town for a while. Oh, because I scared people. Too bad. Hmm. Where can I find medicine? Wait, was this bridge always there? 
I didn't repair this bridge. I guess I never checked. Oh. I do have quite a few of those. I should probably return to Giovanni at one point. Would I have ever went here? I guess I just never went here. But why would it? Seems like it's something that you could do. But the wooden set here outside, roused, doused it in medicine, left it outside to dry, and it was stolen. So where could I pick up the scent of medicine? Unless. Maybe I can do it in the office. Because he would have the medicine inside. <laughs> Looks like some medicine right there. We've seen some. Compared to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, seeing the enemies only do one or one fourth damage makes this game look super easy. True, actually. I think even the Dark Nut earlier didn't do that much damage. It might have also just done one heart or so. Medicine or acid, yeah. This doesn't look like the best medicine. I'd agree. I don't know what sort of medicine this doctor... I mean, this doctor sucked anyway. Couldn't help out at all with um, the Zora Prince and we had to go to Kakariko in this annoying escort mission because he couldn't do his job. That's what it is. So who is the thief? Huh? It's not you, is it? You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes. I'd admit it, I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beasts who took it from me. I don't know where, why those beasts were after the statue. I thought it likely um, that she was in a dangerous spot though. Those friends lurk out just outside the southern gate. They unfortunately only come out at night. And another thing, they always move around as a pack. You don't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. Okay, easy. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. So we gotta leave in the south. It's gotta be nighttime, which it is. And we need to use the charge attack of the wolf. Thank you, guys. By the way, this is not a speed run. I'm actually just playing the game. I haven't played it in like 16 years. That sounds so dramatic, like 16 years, but it's actually true. I know there was a Poe there, by the way. Okay, it's nighttime. There's some skeletal dogs here. I supposed to How am I supposed to Oh, okay, good enough. I thought I have to like defeat them all at the same time. Also, um thank you, Space. I'm having fun too, so I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, you got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. Why does she have this? Uh, it might be a clue that will help Ilya to get her memory back. Hopefully it is. We still need to work together with this guy eventually if we want Marlo Mart to open up. It is kind of Sheikah thing. Uh, true, it is the Sheikah eye technically. And also not technically, it, it just is. Show her the statue. Ilya, look at this. What? What is this? I, I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, 
And I was saved by whoever was confirmed, confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much. But that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. I, um, I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret. Oh, wait. So the Sheikah actually in the game. Or what? They worked in secret, so they... Oh. They lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Leneru province from the far side of Bridge Elden. Okay. Hidden village. Look for a path leading to the Leneru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way... Oh, I don't even know who's saying this. To the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. Oh, well, we tried. What? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Okay. Giga shot. Our patriarch Darbus will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find a path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to Leneru province. Bedtime story stream at 10,000 subs. No, I'm kidding. Bridge of Elden. How? Actually, I haven't used the pawn in a while. Let's go. Was the bridge of Elden the one up here? No, that's the bridge Hylia. Was it? No. That is the bridge of Elden, I think. Elden province? Yeah. I'm streaming until I beat the game. If it's... 10 hours, it's in 10, if it's in 15, it's in 15. If it's in 20, it's in 20. But I'm expecting to be like 10 from now, is like my estimate. Because if I remember correctly, after this bit, uh, it's just a lot of, it's mostly dungeons, with obviously side bits in between. Can walk to the bridge? I know, I know, I just said I haven't used Epona in a while. I wanted to use Epona for a bit. It's kinda bad to ignore her. I guess I'm not sleeping. Hey, if you need to sleep, please sleep. I'm mostly doing this so I can do some Elden Ring streams, which I'm I'm thinking about so much. This will be available on the VOD channel, it will be on this Twitch channel for like the next 60 days. Don't ruin your sleep cycle. You can still see it quote unquote blind. Are you planning on playing other Zelda games casually on stream? Eventually, I'll have to play Ocarina of Time. It's not like this is happening tomorrow, um, but it will happen because I still have to play Ocarina of Time. Uh, wait, did he say on the far side? Wait, if he said on the far side... Okay. If he said on the far side, it would be kind of useless, but like... There is enemies attacking me. <laughs> Dude, stop! How how broke this guy has like an insane fire rate. He fires like faster than I could ever. So I do remember there's the sparkle sound, the sparkle sparkle sound. That guy is insane, I agree, what's up top here? These guys still around. I've beat him like so many times. Uh, I guess I could use a boar here, but that wouldn't allow me to clear that bridge jump, would it? Sand before 10. That seems unreasonable given that I haven't even entered. 
the city in the sky, but <laughs> we can see. If I go full speed run mode somehow. If I got an office space, that's awesome. So gonna, I mean, honestly, I feel like people should be allowed to do this anyway. I keep saying this, like I feel like I work literally more productively if I um, have something on in the back. I guess it depends, like if I'm editing, then maybe not. Oh wait, the sparkle sound wasn't even the Hagner, it's this thing. Bridge not repaired, lol? Wait, this bridge can be repaired too? Oh. Oh, I see it now. I guess I can just warp then. Okay, there's no great portals for me. Wait, but I've been here before. How did I get here? Oh, why was it destroyed? Was it destroyed in, in like a fight? Oh, I guess so. Kind of annoying. What it is, what it is. Does anyone know how many dungeons are left? Wait, did I just see the wolf in the back even though I teleported? Uh, three. <laughs> but, and again, I could be rem misremembering something completely. If I remember correctly, it's basically this quest of restoring Ilya's memory. I completely forgot the hidden village. Or at least to an extent. I guess they hit it that just that well. Um, and then after that, it's pretty much just dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I wonder if we ever see a switch port. I feel like so recently I've been hearing a I've been reading a lot of like rumors and stuff online about Nintendo Directs coming up because like I said I say this all the time it's like probably my favorite things it's like these small little events that happen that um, are really fun to stream watching directs together with chat is one of my favorite things to do so I look forward in, uh, and look into it when a direct should be happening which the last year the last years it was like a direct on the 7th of February on the 8th. And there's like two sorts of posts recently. There's these posts that claim, oh, there's so many rumors about the Switch 2 actually probably being announced. Um, this direct, which I don't think so, because from what I've gathered, every time um, they announced a console, it was like kind of in its own event. Not necessarily, these guys are insane. I, I can't, I, I was trying to dodge them. Um, in their own separate events. So I wouldn't be too hyped for that potential. Wait. Oh, the flag is like coming up. Um, but yeah, I feel like I hear mixed things. Some people say it's gonna happen. Some people say this next direct is gonna be super boring and Nintendo will have a really weak 2024 and then hopefully get a release for the holidays i feel like there's a chance that it will end up being this and it will be pretty sad like um holy shit you got shot moment because again i think the pokemon company tweeted something that could hint towards gen 5 remakes like maybe they go full on quote unquote lazy mode until the holidays and and say yo gen 5 remake that's like kind of rushed thousand year door switch to in like november that could be our nintendo 2024 and honestly i wouldn't care because there's so many other good games coming out this year Elden ring dlc is on the horizon silk song is probably never coming out so actually never mind hades 2 will eventually come out okay this is the hidden village so it was not just in my mind I do remember that there's like a mini game where you have to like kill enemies and I'm pretty sure, dude, I don't know, I know I keep saying this, but I don't know if anyone like me plays a lot of video games. I'm starting to think 
every game has some Twilight Princess reference. The more I play this. It Takes Two, which one game of the year in 2020, has them everywhere. I realized, especially like the, the fight against the B boss is kind of like, you know, sliding around Star-Lord Star -Lord fight. Like in the garden in It Takes Two, there's a lot of reference to the forest temple design-wise. I'm pretty sure Borderlands 2 has like a mini game that's like this hidden village mini game kind of as a nod. I see lots of Dark Souls reference. Like maybe it's not intentional and I just read into it too much. But I guess a lot of game designers that made those games play Twilight Princess at one point. That's what it feels like to me right now. Have you just written Silk Song off as a game? Yeah, pretty much. I, I don't think it's gonna come out. At this point, the developers that made Pal World are making another game. There's like a Metroidvania, and that's probably just gonna replace it. And Silk Song will just be forgotten and never come out. GG's. Waited too long. It's obviously a classic song. All quiet, enjoy the music. This has probably been used in like 7 billion video essays as well. So I don't even know if I'm supposed to shoot them. Is it like an explosive barrel? Oh, it is actually. Also, doing this without motion controls is gonna be the bane of my existence. Maybe I should have used the hawk guy. I guess I'm doing just fine. Why am I even using bow and arrow? Just to be like cool? There's no reason to do so. At least not for all of them. It's incredible hard. Like beating these guys in a stare down is like impossible. What? Did I just kill somebody through the wall? It's so hard because I can't aim at them in time. Also, are the the Shika in this game like Native Americans? Because this kind of looks like a cowboy village and the totem kind of looks like... I mean, the, the wooden statue kind of looks like a totem. And I guess the guy in Kakariko village is kind of like a shaman. Go home, you savages. Go on git. I don't have any food left to feed you monsters. And I don't know anything about the girl. Why do I want that girl so bad? I mean, I can like shoot through here, I think. Yo, what's up, Zip? I haven't played it in like 16 years, legit. Forgot most things. Oh. Can I shoot through here like you won't see me? Okay, I'm missing three of them. Oh, interesting. Uh, maybe I should do this later. See, somebody's in this house. He pre-fired then. That's insane. Okay, now this is the classic. One guy. Classic one guy moment. You know what would be cool? I don't know if this is the case, but if there was like a found, like a well, and he would be in there, 
Then Tears of the Kingdom would have been like a cool throwback to this when you have to clear out the monster forces at Eventide. This looks kind of suspicious. Can I climb this? No. Wait, he is in the well? Is there a well? He's in the Lurlin well. Why are you trolling? I haven't seen a well. It's always one guy. As a streamer, this is known. Ow. Oh, you can't even break those windows because there's wood. He's the chicken. Oh, wait. This looks like suspicious. Was I able to get up here before? Oh, I think I was. Or was I? Is this a well? I mean, I guess this is kind of a well. Wait, give me those arrows. I wasted so many here. Have I been up there? I'm <laughs> Everything looks the same. I think I have been up there. Can make it up the tower. Can I make it up the house? This is the this is just a one guy moment. I think I've cleared the house I think I've cleared out the houses. Towers, cleared out the towers. I haven't I think I've been on the right side of the house too. Life, like over the fence, like crazy. I mean, if he's inside the barrel, then I'm tilted. That would be a classic, though. That would be ext extremely rude. Could be worse, true. The music is at least entertaining. I guess another potential thing to do would be to swap to Wolfling to see if you can pick up the scent or something, but... Is it in the crates! Oh. Wait, I can climb here. Attacking me is the problem. Let's try Wolf Link and see if that changes things. Maybe there's a scent or something to follow. If you do a triple backflip or mega slide hop, you can get a hard piece there. I believe it. I still have to learn those. The jingling sounds are usually, you know, what if he's there? Wait, what if he's here? Oh, what? Was he there the entire time? I mean, to be honest. It basically was to go here. I 
Oh, he's gonna open the door. Oh, excuse me. Is this Impa or what? The howls of the beasts, they faded into silence. Wait, are you the savior? It's you, the savior. Also, who is wanted there? There's like a cowboy that's wanted for like one trillion dollars. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. Okay, so I get. Wait, my name is Impuzz. <laughs> what? I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago, which presumably was then Impa. This village was once the secret home of the proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Wait, so the Sheikahs were cowboys in this game? I'm... Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Yeah, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. How oh, lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come out, out here to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate it vis is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me, blather on. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. But even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. You got Ilya's charm. Ilya left his charm with her woman who saved her. How did that protect her? So she could play flute? Was she playing the flute during that song? Maybe. Uh, this is the key to getting Ilya's memory back. Set it and to the buttons and show it to her. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. Okay, sure. So please return it to that girl. We do. So who is this cowboy? Okay, wait, million, billion, trillion? Yeah, it's like a trillion or something. Quadrillion, I think, actually. Horseshoe, which are widely considered lucky, I guess it's a lucky charm, but I was like, it's, I, I was expecting her to leave her like a gun. Or something, you know? Something that like actually helps her. But you know, it's still a nice gesture. What? Why can I not do this? Wait, who it's would be scared if I transform into a wolf here? The chicken? What? Wait, who is like seeing me? Thank you for the uh, the 150 uh, bits, by the way. I'm, just, I'm, I'm so confused. I can't it, it, like do this in the whole village? You have to leave the town? That's so weird. For like other people, you can just like hide behind like a gravestone. That person on the fly is probably a wanted post of the great Misko. I'm not sure that's just speculation. I mean, that is actually a really cool idea. It's uh, the notorious bandit of the series. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna save the minigame for the stream where I do more of the collection stuff because today main story is priority. Otherwise, I'm gonna be up until 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm, I just wanna get the statue. You can transform the door frame between the stone. What the fuck is that?
That was it? It wasn't. I was so close though. Okay, almost. There we go. Easiest melody ever. Not. Pretty at least. What do you mean? I've never even heard any dog sing that pretty. Even with my failed attempt. Okay, that's pretty epic. That moon is ginormous. But by the way, why does the moon look bigger sometimes? Maybe this is like a really obvious answer. But I feel like I have seen the moon appear bigger even in the real world sometimes. How does that work? Because wait, the moon is orbiting the Earth, right? Oh, that's right in front of Harry Castle. Holy shit. Is there only seven secret skills? This feels like almost like the last one, but maybe there is another eighth one. What did I make in a closer castle? Kakariko first. Gotta get the golden memories back. The moon does not open in a perfect circle and it actually gets closer and further away. Ah, okay. Not super obvious, but. That will explain it. All right. It's memory time. Yeah, look, I found this. I guess it wasn't close enough. <laughs> okay, we did it. I think. I... I knew you once. I hated you. <laughs> yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay? Long ago when we were young, you and I... You were always there. Always were beside me. Okay, what's up, Golden? Sedge. Link. <laughs> what a beautiful smile. Okay, a pona showing off in the back. Just for fun. Any kisses? <laughs> what the fuck is that? The fact that Marlo is looking like this is so disturbing. See, they're leaving the room. It's time. Wait, is it? No, never mind. Uh, this gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link. Take it. Oh, true. She wanted to give us a gift. It's flying. You got the horse call. Ilya made this just for Puna, so we can call Puna from wherever we are, kind of. 
You don't need to worry about me any longer. I'm really not using a pawner, by the way, but still cool. Um, you don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Our wife. Future wife. All right, now we have to speed run the game. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the rod of the heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently in this woman's village, they've heavily guarded something from the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be or even what the rod is? Uh, yeah, I have it like with me here. Would you like to help that lady and if we can introduce her to whatever messenger to the heavens has the rod? Wait, so if I go back again? Or what? The acquaintance of Telma's in the cellar right now. Oh, I should talk to this guy. Because maybe I'm the messenger to the heavens. Oh my, color me surprised. If it isn't Link. What a coincidence. That guy's face looks like too realistic compared to the other guys. What a coincidence. Meeting you in a place like this, how very odd. Oh, hello there. Came here today to look into the Hyrulean legend of the sky beings called Uka. But to think that you would appear here with such a perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observed the statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see? This, too, was in my father's notes. It's called sky writing, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. The word that breaks the seal. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya, a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. She didn't, actually. Uh, and the rod of the heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that seals... Word that breaks the seal. Hmm. Isn't there any... I, I did already... Memories restored. But I did. Okay. So I'm assuming I have to go back again to um, the place. I belong. West Virginia. Probably. Or something. What just happened? Oh, that was a cutscene. I was like really confused. Because it looked like that should be like seamless, but I guess that area counts uh, different. Uh, <laughs> what does Meaden have to say about this? I'm scared that I'm going all the way back. Story about the messenger of the sky with the road. Maybe we should go talk to the woman. <laughs> Okay, see, this is what I was pointing out earlier. I mean, I guess it's my fault that I still don't have a portal there. It is what it is. Well, I can try out the horse call now, though. Maybe that will actually come in handy. I don't know how much the, how the range of this is. What's up, buddy dog? Yeah, I'm um, enjoying it a lot. I think we're currently doing the last big fetch quest before all of the action towards the late games is gonna take place. City in the sky, the Twilight Palace, Twilight Temple, Palace. Not sure. And obviously, Hyrule Castle. Yeah. 
I know that the, there's still, still two golden wolf um, guys, by the way. I am aware. Around Hyrule Castle, I will do those before I head up to the city. But I want to get to the point where I can technically do that first. Wait, so I know there's a skip in Twilight Princess speedruns. I don't know if anyone here watches Twilight Princess speedruns. Where you can actually go past that statue. Right, like the statue um, that I'm trying to get to behind. Behind right now. Oh shit. Um, what does that skip? Does that basically skip? Like everything between... Like the snow peak and Temple of Time. Or like, what parts of the game can you skip by doing this? And acquiring like the cannon early. Like is getting the last mirror fragment enough to just progress the game? Because I know this is something you can do. Oh look at all the cats. Cat Village, this is much better. That is so adorable. Why is this not in Tears of the Kingdom? Why can you not hold kittens? Every Zelda game after this one is worse because this feature isn't in the game anymore. This was the peak. They haven't been able to surpass it. It skips everything between Temple of Time and where you unlock that. Oh, so just this quest, basically. I guess. Okay. So does that mean in, T in Twilight Princess, any percent, you don't give your girlfriend that, her memories back? That's hor horrible. I haven't much to offer, but here, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can show her my rot. Hey, that rot. Is that the Dominion Rot? That's right. I mean, what? Um, ah, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there's a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it's said that a mysterious Rot was handed down from the, pe from the people of the sky. The people of the sky. This sounds so familiar. It was called Dominion Rot, the people of the sky and the... Okay, and, and their statues kind of look like Zona is suspicious. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uka. I, 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 a lot of people did make the comparison in advance. Um, from generation to genera generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that by royal decree was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. You got the ancient sky book. I, I was literally just gonna ask, what's the thumbnail? That's called a cover. I'm just gonna call the book a thumbnail. Also, the thing on the side is just a grappling hook thing, isn't it? Like, same texture. A crucial word. In it is missing some characters. This is a hint to finding a path to the sky. Of course, it's missing characters. This book is written in the ancient language of sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Well, there we go. But now what? Now I have to return again to Kakariko. I have to return to Kakariko again? Or what? And then surely that's it, right? Surely the guy in Kakariko will just tell me the missing characters, right? I mean, because at this point the quest has really been dragging on for some time. So that really just makes sense. Yes, okay, nice. It only makes sense. What? Alright. 
I got the book of the sky. This is Skybook. Look at this. What's this? Ah, it's skywriting. Where it blazes? Where in blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? R right, let's try it out. Okay. Here it comes. Melon. No reaction. So, it is not this statue. <clears throat> Link, thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Now I shall try out this word on other statues. I have made the rounds of these statues so many times that I have memorized their locations. I will place marks on your map so you can find them. Come find me in case you have any questions. Remember, every one of those marks is near an owl statue. Now if you excuse me. Yeah, compared to the rest, it is it is weird. That's what I mean. Wait, did we get the magic back? Power has returned to the Dominion Rod. Just like this. Said it how? Said it yeah, how did this happen? Plot armor? The writing in the book was a spell. That imbued the star with magic, of course. Now you can use it on the other statues. So, hey, he did say he would mark your map wherever the statue was. We should check those spots out, right, Link? So this doesn't work yet because it's covered. Understood. It's the bone structure, Drew. Okay. Where are those marks? There's a lot of marks. Let's start here. And yet again, I'm paying the price for not having the bridge repaired. So, um... I have to run all the way around again. Again. I think there are t 12? What do you mean 12? I have to go to 12 statues now. What? Okay, so this might have been the part that I've forgotten about. For good reason, this is awful. Um, okay. But then, oh, and now I can control it and walk over. It's only a lot, it might be more than 12 or less, I see. Yeah, it's kind of like a capture. True. You found a stem for the Hylian letter? You wait. That was not what I was meant to get. <laughs> or was it? Because I'm looking for letters? I'm confused now. The mark is still there. I don't think I've gotten it yet. Oh, did I? Is that what I need? Because I need letters, right? So maybe that's it. But the stems were not in the, in the base game, so it can't be. Check under the statue spots. Oh. Oh, I see. We picked up three... Blobs. Um, but there's still other characters missing. Okay. Got it. So I'm doing all of the work for this guy.
essentially. Um, no, I should rather I should probably port here instead. Go back to where the statue came from. Oh, you meant you meant okay, that's what I did, right? You meant the little spot. Got it. It, it's just inter it, it was confusing because it also happened to have like a puzzle attached to it, so I thought that's what I had to do. Hello there. Yeah, now the question is, how do I, um, you know, get there? Let me guess, if I bring the statue over here, it'll be another stamp. Oh wait, no, I think I get it. Uh, <laughs> So do I take the risk in getting this treasure chest in hopes that it is a hard container, something that I actually like a hard piece, something that I actually care about? Or do I just trust myself in knowing that this is just gonna be a stamp that I don't care about? Really? Wanna oh, know? No. I'm gonna fa see, actually, you see. No, no, I, 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 will, I, I figured out what it is. I'll show you. Really? I'm. This is actually still not. Okay. No, no, surely. Nice. Now we have like a, like a, an hourglass kind of. Okay, see, if you actually look at the characters on the wall here, like on those blocks, you can clearly see that they all have hearts on them. And that's actually a clue that this chest over there is guaranteed to have a heart piece. Uh, I just figured that out. So that's why I'm getting it. Go. You see, you see, there's like hearts on all of them. I'm just gonna jump. Okay. No, I'm not even gonna risk it. I was like, maybe from a different angle I can make it, but apparently the first jump is always harder. Ooh. Heart container. I mean, to be fair, we do know that in this game, canonically, I mean, peace, hard peace, in this game, canonically, money spreads love. So it's still accurate. Okay, it has to be faster to transform into a wolf. I always think that takes so long, it really doesn't, if you just do it right. How much faster is a Pona, though? Broken hearts though? Oh, okay. That's why I was wrong. Oh boy! Another treasure chest next to it. I wonder what it will contain. Like an opening up top. Mm. 
Please tell me I lined this up correctly. Okay. We found a sky ladder. L letter. Not ladder. Please. Are you kidding me? Do I really care what's in there? Do I really care? I really shouldn't. But it's like you can place like a chest in front of my eyes. And then expect me to not care. What? Oh, the vines are literally like 2D. Alright. Line up the jump. Boom. Okay, I don't care. If it was one million dollars, then it was one million dollars. It was not meant to be. Alright, this is the one on the bridge. There's one here. Oh, right. I've never actually returned to this place. Wait, is the poison still in there? Why is it on the map? Is it not updated or is there still poison? Wanna know what's in there? Yeah, please tell me so I can be upset that it was a hard container. P peace, hard peace. It was probably like 50 bucks. Rupees are a stamp, okay. Can, can we still do the jump here, Midna? Do we still do this? Or we just still do this? Wait, so why is the poison still here? I guess that's just the normal state of Farron or what? What? Oh, you can't go this way? Or you can only go the other way. Okay, this like instantly kills you, I see. There's a normal poison swamp. See, another. So poison swamps are another Twilight Princess reference. I'm reading into literally everything at this point. Every game was inspired by Twilight Princess. Especially Dark Souls. They have poison swamps. They have hybrid castle, which looks like Anno Londo. They have... Uh, Normal uh, mini boss enemies that later become normal enemies. It actually has to be real. No, 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 no. Um, I'm starting to really believe this. And then again, I do need to look at Berserk because maybe both of these games were inspired by Berserk and Berserk has poison swamps, castles that look like Anolondo and all of that. For every game of the year ripped the Twilight Princess, but it really did. Like it has an ability called Mortal Draw, which <laughs> that, that really means nothing, but Sekiro, game of the year, by the way, um, still has a mortal draw. Um, it takes two as like multiple enemies that are just from this game. I think there's a little nod. Miyazaki is a Twilight Prince enjoy? I think so. Or, again, I need to look at Berserk. I wanted to get Berserk uh, at a bookstore I was at recently, but they've only had these, these huge, like, huge hard bag books for like 50 pounds um so i didn't get it but it would be cool to have but i didn't want to spend 50 pounds on a on a book just then okay there's none here there's one of the desert. really Okay, hopefully I can just use the bird again to go into the desert, because if not, I'm really sad. Put a stretch in the hallway. Too, too bad. 
too late now. Yo, what's up, Nova? How are you doing? Okay, I hope that this friendly man will still, or that I will still be able to go into the desert this way. But I've been planning for Lunar New Year this Saturday. Honestly, I wish I had some in real life Chinese friends who would invite me. Because those, uh, well, I don't know if you're talking about like an actual in real life event or a, um, or Genshin. <laughs> But um, if you're talking about in a real-life event, it always looks so uh, nice. Okay, so I can't do this. Talk about both. Okay, okay. Nice. Wait, can I not call for the birds here? I can't enter the desert this way anymore. Cannon guy can get me to the desert? Oh, that's right. That's how I got to the desert. You're right, for some reason I thought in my head right now that when we first got to be used the birds. But we didn't. But yeah, I mean the food always looks amazing. It's, just, it's like a nice aesthetic. The Lunar New Year aesthetic. Also the Year of the Dragon is coming up, right? Isn't that like the most badass name? I don't know what's considered like the most lucky or most special year in the calendar, but Year of the Dragon sounds pretty epic. No, I didn't. He has a bullet bill on his sleeve. I didn't see that until just now. That's pretty cool. So why, I guess the cannon that's behind the door is going to be more powerful, so it can actually blast us into the sky. That's why we do this, right? Something like that? Oh wait, actually, never mind, there's a boar just for me. You're a cloud retainer? I'm jealous. I still, I still have saved my pulls, I haven't done my pulls yet. But I do really, I, f I feel like... She's a good unit in general, but what makes her so cool is that it allows you to try out so many fun teams, similar to Farina. I really want to try out Plunge Risley. Because you can kind of cancel his charge deck animation into a jump, which looks like a rising uppercut. I've been playing a lot of Star Raid recently. The new patch, the new area is like really cool, really creative, really unique. Big fan. Her and gaming work great together. Uh, Garming, I'm sorry. Um, I know. And Garming in general seems very strong. But you can also just run her with Butao. And get similar results. And I already, uh, my thing is always like, if I just want to clear the abyss, I can use different characters. I would like the Cloud Retainer just for team building and because her E is fun to use. I'm not really interested in Shiori, who they announced next. But I am interested in Clorinth when she eventually comes out. Unless she gets the Dia treatment. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Am I only missing one? Maybe there's less than we thought. Or at least I can't see any more marks. Other than the one up there. Let's see. Doing 
it isn't a uh, domain for her. Yeah, it makes sense. That's what I would run on her most of the time. In most teams, if it's not like Zhao. Honestly, Amos, that sounds like a pretty, pretty fun time for me too. But I've recently watched this um, movie called Everything Everywhere All at Once. I'm pretty sure it won like an Oscar last year. Doesn't have too, too much to do with Chinese culture. Well, actually a little bit. Um, but it's about this Chinese family and they're like also preparing for like a new a, a Lunar New Year. Uh, like party with their customers. Will she already be in a Zuma? Yeah, in a Zuma character. Great movie, very, very good movie. I really liked it. At one point I was like, maybe this is too much, like tenant level of confusing, but eventually it started making sense. Like they managed to make it really confusing and wild, but then still all makes sense. If you think about it a little bit. I thought she's based in Fontaine. I think, I don't know if she's based there. Maybe she was just flown out for that movie event to like design an outfit. Okay, I cannot dodge these guys. I can't. They are, they are undodgeable. I actually dodged it. I can't believe it. Right, the Genshin Char Gaming, yeah. That's how he spells. <gasps> so this is how I would get the portal, I see. Oh, they're beating up a Pona. No, 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 don't warp. You pronounce him Garming, but. A lot of people at the start, before it was officially known, just said gaming. So it kind of became a meme. Like a Thomas situation? I don't know. Like, I don't know if she's canonically gonna live in Fontaine, but she's definitely an Inazuma character. She has Inazuma vision and everything. Uh, but again, she just seems to be... She's a weird case where she seems to be good for, like, Ether teams, which I guess needs some help, but I don't like playing Geo. It just feels like investing into disaster. And apparently when you have her in Constellation 1, she can work with Navia, because normally she needs a geoconstruct to be, I've heard, allegedly, uh, on the ground with a C1, you don't have to do that, so you can run it with Navia, making it infinitely better, but I'm not putting a C1 character for Navia that I don't even have, so she's getting skipped. Even though I really like her aesthetically. Uh, anyway, Jason, thank you so much for the 2.167 years of subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, Am I done? Because I can't see any more marks. Uh, seriously, thank you for the support, Jason. Like, if I don't see any more marks, I should be done, right? What is this spot there? That's just like the entrance to the Temple of Time. Um, I'm pl I'm playing on emulator. Um, and where did the guy tell me to return? Actually, let's ask Meet now. Okay, that doesn't help. That does not help. This is the dungeon entrance, okay. I mean, he was saying that he was looking for his own signs. I mean, I would expect to just return to the statue and then try out the world myself. Oh god, what am I getting into here now? 
This is gonna be another one of those big caves. No? Where am I? Huh? Wait, is this the fire temple? No. It just happens to be... What? It happens to be the same mechanic. Should we pick up some of those hearts? No, no, okay. Wait. Minus one bomb. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not even mad. Did I mess up there? No, I guess it's fine. Okay. Surely this will yield me a hard container. That would only make sense. Well, it actually did. But it's not a hard container, it's a piece of hard and I keep saying it wrong. I only need one more for the next one. Okay, I mean, let's try and go to Kakuriko. Malikov's Black Blade. That's a cool one. I don't know if I would, if I found that in a rando, which I will see tomorrow what weapon I will find, I don't know if I would use it. Mainly because I still, in my mind, there's just too many, I mean, it's still good. It still has to be pretty good. But in my mind, there's just too many enemies that are weak, that are strong against holy damage. But I guess that's not actually true. I have no idea yet about randomizers because I guess in randomizers you will have completely different late game enemies. Maybe you get enemies that are weak to holy. Damage. Okay, what's up, girlfriends? Time to say the magic words. Oh, he's back. How convenient. Ah, oh, Link, did you read my letter? Uh, yeah, I guess. As it turned out, that word I learned from you didn't do anything with the statues I found. After all that, I wonder how that word was supposed to be used. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I've learned something new. Also, what's up, Barbie? Look at this. Is it that book from last time? Oh. Mm. Are there more letters in the word? And last time I looked at this, how did you investigate it? Link, this is amazing, amazing stuff. Now this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. I'm also going to... Bobby, are you doing good? Why, why did I say that? I'm <laughs> I asked, are you good? You said, I'm good. I said, yes, I'm good. Are you good? I'm also good, by the way. But I hope you're good. Anyway, uh, in your opinion, Lim, which game is the best open world formula? Elden Ring. Not even close. It has taken on the same shape as the other statues. Again, I'm super Elden Ring bi bi biased. I'm like the biggest Elden Ring meat rider. Proudly so, honestly. Because, uh, in my opinion, it's the best game ever made. Is it my favorite game? Sometimes. But again, there is downsides of it. Like it's still it, the perfect open world game still hasn't been made. Like one downside, and but it's still so well done. Like for example, one downside with Elden Ring is they have all of these. What I like about it more is first of all the build variety. Like you have different weapons, right? Making every playthrough feel differently, making exploring the open world feel rewarding in different ways. Like for example, one time you'll play as a sorcerer and you go into a cave and you find a heavy anchor weapon that is way too heavy for your build you're never going to use it it's going to feel underwhelming but the good thing in the game is that despite the reward maybe being unoptimal 
on the way you'll still get runes which will allow you to go grow stronger level up and um, you will still get something you will probably get upgrade materials maybe you'll still also find a spell for you as a sorcerer there but maybe next time you play you play as a heavy giga shot strong weapon guy and you go into that cave and suddenly you feel rewarding and suddenly you find a different cave that you've never entered and you find like a really good armor piece um for you um and uh, again they kind of did the same thing of that i suggested earlier for the zelda for uh, developers to do in the future that it's mostly open world but there is still some secluded areas that are specifically nice there's our cannon um specifically supposed to be used in um supposed to be accessed in the late game so once you get like geared up and you make some progress um you reach these later areas which allows them to put more difficult enemies there and like put some scaling in how in blazes did you move that statue and what's this amazing spectacular this must be the sky cannon i read about it in my father's notes I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. And I will also say, I do agree that the original Dark Souls series has these really clever level designs with like the shortcuts and everything and like looping all the way back to Firelink Shrine, big moments and stuff. But I still think for Elden Ring being pretty open world, they still managed to include this in some like of the legacy dungeons. I, I, I just think it has this perfect balance of legacy dungeons where you are a little bit more restricted open world where everything is kind of open but there's still some progression and the game just like i guess playing breath of the wild for the first time was like that and even tears of the kingdom to an extent like constantly finding new things like the depths and new mechanics but for elden ring to me every time i thought this game is so ginormous it just kept getting bigger and something new and another area and another area and another area and another thing insane we're going to the chickens now, I believe, yeah. But how can one use this to get to the city in the star in the sky? I have an idea. Yeah, okay, meat now is an idea. A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with it, Link? Warp. Except that guy's still watching us. Okay, can we like can you leave? Ah. Oh. Perhaps I'm in your way? Well, forgive me for not realizing. I should just disappear at times like this, really. So let me know the results another time, Link. Okay, how does he know that? It's kind of weird. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you do well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. Farewell. I know, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. I wonder if, it if I put him off. No, no, meet now. We gotta go. I have not played Dark Souls 2. Nope. I have it on Steam. What do you plan to do with this link? I feel like as much as people say it's underrated, I don't know if I could truly enjoy it now. After having played, like, again, Sekiro most recently, and then Elden Ring, like, I, I'm sure it has its own charms, but I don't know. I feel like it would have to be in a time where I have nothing else to play right now. Like, literally nothing, and they're like, okay, what the hell do I play? I guess I play Dark Souls 2. No offense to the Dark Souls 2 lovers. But there's just too many good games right now. Rare, it's a rare moment. Okay, that's kind of cursed. Can his legs. Well, the question is, are we actually going to the sky yet? Because I'm pretty sure we might still have to repair it. This this is the, the like, wow, this is definitely the longest, the most amount of stuff we ever had to do between two temples. To go across the whole world. Hey, buddy. So, uh, is that yours? Hey buddy, I never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you'd try to build your own cannon. So are you gonna give me a tour or what? Looks like you have a, a serious rig over there. 
Sure, but it's more like me that needs your help. Oh, it's kind of retro, huh? And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Listen, buddy, I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. That's if you can pay me 300 rupees in advance. Can I? Mm, I don't know, this thing looks pretty complicated. If you want this done right, you're gonna have to pay for it. But I gotta get back to work here, buddy. Wait, do I not have 300 rupees or what? The pain. This is what I get for spending all of my money on the church or whatever I paid for. So where do I make some money? In the GameCube, uh, in the GameCube Wii version, you had to pay 598 rupees. That sounds like a lot. I do have bugs. That's a good point. And I always have a lot of posts, actually. I don't know if that gives any money, but I do have some bugs. <laughs> Assuming now I'm getting the letter that I've already acted on. Hey. Of course. <laughs> and I get to do what I will, I will. I've come to deliver a letter. Wait, can I actually get the other wolf yet, or is it only available once I get to Haru Castle? It's a letter from Shout. Okay, we already know what you wanted to say. I always thought the Ancient Tome character quest was kind of tedious and almost unnecessary. I wish there were some extra, like, mini challenges to get them. T the letters? I feel like the letters seemed like a lot, given that we already had to include... Like, maybe, I feel like they should have moved returning Ilya's memories before the Temple of Time, you know? Because after Snow Peak, I was able to immediately go to Temple of Time. And then that would have made much more sense because then you meet Impasse, um, or whatever she's called. You meet her first, and then you do another temple where you get the Dominion Rod, and then suddenly you're like, oh, I'm the messenger of the sky. Then you return and do the second part. It is funny, this is literally the barrier from Barrier Skip, but there's no Barrier Skip in this game. Feels bad, man. What happens? Have people, like, tried to, like, glitch themselves or, like, mod themselves behind this barrier? This is a very niche question that people probably don't know. But I wonder. Alright, alright. This is the same reduction as usual. We got a more to draw, though. They're trying in the TP Discord. Wait, is this still? Are trying it now? Interesting. So even with mods, it's hard to do. Because I was wondering, um, the jump strike. Okay, I thought I already know this. I thought it would already be possible to know what would happen if you were able to do it. One of the basic uh, sortings is a jump attack. It inflicts great damage, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. From the jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. Search. The blade releases. Okay, so I have to hold a... Oh. Holy shit, you just duplicated like this. That's cool. It's gonna be useful. Impressive. Do not forget the timing you're releasing, the power you just felt. A sixth hidden skill, the jump strike has been passed on. Very nice. I can agree with you, breaking up the pacing by moving Elias' quest before the temple would have been nice. Yeah, because this feels like... I mean, I guess... When you play it for the first time, you're not really thinking, like, what's the next temple, what's the next temple? No, that's probably not true, because I think dungeons were always something that Zelda fans were looking forward to. So, yeah, I think it would have been a good change. Because what felt really bad, I think, about the quest is going to the hidden village to get Ilya's charm, 
going back to Kakariko to um, give her the charm and then having to go back to the hidden village again to the same person you just met. So it almost seems like it was planned like this at one point. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I got some bugs. I got. Oh, now we're getting the super secret prize. We got. We, we also got both uh, snails. That room looks good. I'm assuming eventually all of the bugs will be on a tree, which is cute. I do have a partner. I do have a partner. Who's your friend? Alright, this is the same line. <laughs> we have a pair. Don't those little bugs look happy? Let me to share this happiness with you. 100 bucks of happiness. Okay, we already have the money we need, but we might as well... Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I have one stick bug. Phasmid? Apparently that's what they're called. I have Lady Skyward Sword, yeah. I think while I liked it, it's probably currently... Hmm, let's think, which 3D Zelda's... Well, the, for the ones I have beaten, which is actually not that many, because the, the 3D Zelda's that I've beaten is only Road of the Wild, Twilight Princess, Tears of the Kingdom, Skyward Sword, I think. Because Link's Awakening Remake is like kind of 3D, but it's not a 3D Zelda. So which other ones am I missing? Majora's Mask or Green of Time? And that's it, I think. Right? So those are the ones I'm missing. So I've played... Oh, Wind Waker, of course, Wind Waker, of course. I just talked about Barrier Skip. Because Wind Waker is a different case that I've played. But I... Like, I've played Wind Waker, but I haven't... Beaten it because I only played it on my friend's Wii U for like a bit. For like... Three hours, literally. Maybe maybe five. Like, just going around and exploring stuff. This is the last... I know I need 300 bucks. I'm just paying 500 to hope that I finally... This guy legit wants 1,000 euros from me. Yeah, I think it, from those four, it's my least favorite, but I still liked it. So I guess I played four out of seven. It's kind of weak. Kinda weak. Oh, where's the wolf? Looks like it'll be here. How do I get up here? Cryonis? Eh? Oh wait, is the wolf all the way back there? Oh. Wait, no. What's this? Oh, that's a Gritha. Oh, there. Be the best of green of time. Yeah, that's the, that would be the next one I want to play, even before Wind Waker, unless there's like a random Wind Waker port that I can play on Switch easily. Wait, so I'm still not sure if this is the final skill. If there's seven skills or, or six. Uh, or eight. 
At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final... Okay, just wait. Hidden skill that I can pass on to you. So this has to be the big charge attack. Before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill. I told you the jump strike. There's seven. Okay, got it. That one is really cool. Don't know how useful it is, but... Sounds good. My final hidden skill is the Great Spin. There it is. So, what do I have to do differently? You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the Spin Attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have the ability to magnify the power of your Spin Attack. But the only time you can do it is when you're full HP. I see. Started it already, so just because I have full HP, I just do more spin attack damage. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is full. Remember this. The final hidden skill has been passed on. Pretty cool. You've at last mastered all of the hidden skills. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You who have mar marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last, you who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded, surely you can restore Hyrule to its stat stature of yore as the chosen land of the gods. Stature? St stature? I, I don't know the word. Farewell. Go. And do not falter, my child. Yes, Dad. Wait. That's kind of confusing, though. That makes it seem like that all of the heroes are related by blood. It would be really bad. Oh, wait. I guess it wouldn't be bad. By default. Because I was still thinking, I was still thinking of Raru as the first hero, kind of, right, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. But Raru is like basically related to Zelda by blood, which would mean that Zelda and Link are related by blood. But obviously, we want to ship them. But the thing is, maybe in the like in the past, they weren't really shipped that much, right? Zelda was the princess, and for example, in this game, Link was more shipped with Ilya. And then I feel like only really starting from from Skyward Sword, the, Z the Zelda Link shipping started because they were like more hinted towards having like a romantic relationship there. And then obviously in Breath of the Wild, it was like even more. Well, actually, actually, I feel in Twilight Princess it was the most. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, I know that that's supposed to be the hero of time, essentially. Um... And then Breath of the Wild, they were shipping them, and obviously now with the house and Tears of the Kingdom and like all of the interactions. Only does our blood can do this. Yeah, yeah. So that would that would, because the way the the heroes work, I thought like yes, they basically the hero keeps showing up, but I didn't know they were direct descendants. I thought a kid can just be born and then it's like chosen to be the hero. From a lore perspective, but I guess that's not necessarily the case. The Link from Woodenbaker is literally just a random kid though, right? No blood. That's why I thought this. And even even Link is just, I think, in the creating a champion of the wild book. He's supposedly just the kid of this like high Hyrulean random knight. So like maybe people in the bloodline can be skipped as long as they still have the same blood. And then again, the reason I would think the blood connection exists is because like Ravru and Zonya definitely are supposed... Again, I'm kind of like treating this... It could still be the case, and this could simply be an exception. It could be, and I'm, I'm just saying this now, right? I'm, I'm treating this like all of this is completely thought through, and there can't be any gaps, which clearly there can be. But especially when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom, I feel like you have to be careful. But we learned that 
Raro and Sonya basically had to have had a kid because they can sense that Zelda is related to them by blood. And the ancient hero, you get the ancient hero aspect in Tears of the Kingdom, that kind of looks like a little bit like a humanoid slash Zonai. So you could think that yes, maybe there was like a Zonai human kid who was the hero, which would suggest that this hero also has Ravru's blood, just like Zelda, which would suggest that maybe the entire like Zelda Link shipping is basically some like Game of Thrones incest level ship. Who knows? Pretty common in fantasy though, so... Put on YouTube Elden Ring lore videos, three videos, they each go 13 hours each. Is it from Smotown Armors? Is that the channel? I think so. That's funny because I watched this guy and he literally subscribed to my YouTube channel the other day. Because YouTube shows you like people with like high sub count when they subscribe to you in the dashboard. And I was like, oh, that's cool because I'm planning to do more Elden Ring. Um, I like the videos, it's like a long background type law style video. But obviously if you haven't seen any of the Vati um prepared to cry, like the, the new format that he done that he did, you absolutely have to watch those. Especially the one about the Age of Stars. Um that's like probably the best Elden Ring video on the market. You're going to be um knocking on the door to the heavens. Seriously, but it might be rough. So I'm sorry for soaking you for soaking you for the dough. Apparently that's a saying that I don't know. I'll leave you alone then. Well, you just have all the fun you want, okay buddy? Why are you making it sound like weird? I'm trying to like shoot myself into the sky. Don't make it sound weird. Oh, I remember you have to grapple hook yourself in there or something, right? Yeah, I do actually remember having to do this. What the fuck? That is so cursed. They didn't even ask. They just jumped in there. Oh! Kind of like the Skyview Tower. All right, we are here in the Sky Islands. See, Tears of the Kingdom just stole everything from Twilight Princess. Every game stole everything from Twilight Princess. Ooh, gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the Sky City of the Yuka. Since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. This, for some reason in my mind, is strong in my memory. Like, I remember there's like a shop here or something, right? Okay, this is, I'm pretty sure, the boss of the whole thing. Also, this, this, this music is also in literally every video essay about video games. Oh, is that the dead? That's some horror stuff. Oh goodness, brave adventurer, you won't believe it. There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. I'm terribly worried about everyone. I'm going to check in that shop for survivors. I remember this, I remember this. Wait, this is actually giving so much Zonai energy. Like even the fact that the shape of these... Like look at this. Okay, now I'm probably just smoking, but this very much reminds me of, um, oh wait, shit, of like the lotus flowers that basically end up being like the lamps later on, you know? You know, like the lotus lamps, the Zonai lotus lamps, it's probably just completely random, but also, you know? It's clear that there's not complete, that, that what I'm saying is not complete nonsense. Like, of course, they have like these specific themes that they tend to stick to. Um, anyway, what do you sell? He sells oil, arrows, bombs, kind of whatever. Oh, I'm sorry for earlier adventurer. 
Uh, oh, but you're planning on walking around the city and taking it in, right? I'm worried about the others and this is just an emergency. This is an emergency. I can't just stand around waiting. Please take me too. I won't help you warp to the surface, but I will bring you back to the shop anytime. Okay. I don't know about friends, but... Uh, any, any special things? Ah. You're Hylian, no? I speak a little Hylian. You understand me? See something you want? Pick it with this. Okay, bombs, arrows, oil, blue, red potion. Wait, when you're out of strength, drink this and you'll be fine. What does that mean? Does it mean it restores as many hearts as I want? Like a hyper potion? Because the other one only does up to eight. Full heal, okay. It's barely worth it, I feel like right now. I mean, I have like, what, 12 hearts? Also, I'm pretty sure you can put on the iron boots. To fight the wind. Okay, we found 20 bucks. I would love finding 20 bucks in a random pool of water. And we also found water bombs. Okay. Understood. And this is where the cannon. Wait, why is there a cannon actually? Does this one send me down? Oh, yes. Let's head in. so that you can't shoot? I should really be using the grappling hook for this, probably. What's going on now? Oh, we, we just got an intro cutscene now. City in the sky. It's a city in the sky. Let's check out. Of course. That's when the wind comes back. Let's go. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess these guys... Oh! Do they work like... I guess they work like cuckoos. They do. And they can also stand on the ceiling. Oh, nice arrows. What? There's like... Blocks that fall down. Another cannon. Can I like grab these dudes? Hello? Can I take one of you? Oh, I can! That looks so funny. So did Zelda raise the city before or after the confrontation? Yeah, that's the question, right? Because canonically... Well, no. I still don't know. I, every time I try to think about the timeline, I just give up. What the fuck is this? There's a Pokemon called Rai Raihorn. Uh, 
Faster than is that the previous evolution? Okay. I guess we need the paraglider. Or maybe not, because there's something to do with the spinner. In here. God, we need too many items for this. Hey! That's incredibly rude. Because it can't, it's like so tanky. I have the master sword. This is apparently the master plan. So what is it doing? Right now? Oh, okay, it is doing something. Yeah, I, that's my personal headcanon too. No! Uh, that's, the timeline was kind of like done because it was requested. Okay, I don't have the key yet. And then they regretted it. Like, who knows? Who, I don't even know who. Maybe like some intern was like, you know what? Today, I'm making the Zelda timeline. And then the Zelda team was like, wait, that's not how we imagined it. And then I just had to kind of deal with it. Be ready for this? I know, I again, spoiler alert, I do know that at one point you get the. Wait, what if I go up here? That you get a second claw shot. Oh, wait. Yeah, but see, because I can't. Does this do anything for me right now? Not really. Fun fact, you fall fast with the iron boots, which denies basic physics. Does it? Okay, apparently I did skip physics class. See, I would have to think about this first. Like, does higher mass not fall faster? I guess not. Or do you mean because you would have, you would carry the iron boots anyway? That's about you. Pretty good, I'm making good progress. Thank you. Um, UX, I appreciate it. Inspired me a duck on my GameCube and start a new Ocarina of Time playthrough. Now, wait, you can play it on GameCube? How can you play it on GameCube? How would you recommend me to play Ocarina of Time now, by the way? Like, I don't. I'm not gonna play it like right now or like that soon. But, what would be the way to do it? Okay, I saw for a second that I can grab this. I, I thought this almost seemed like I wasn't I shouldn't be able to do it yet, but I think I can do this now. There's a GameCube version, so Okay, but let's talk emulator. Should I get like a dolphin or whatever GameCube emulator? Because I know there's also technically a DS version, but that's really not a good idea. That doesn't sound the play. Yeah, exactly. I've heard that the DS version has made improvements. That's why I'm asking. It's still fundamentally the same game though then, right? Also, you see this? Wait. You see the eye on those doors? I haven't even paid attention to this. This essentially... We talked about this. This is actually super interesting. I, I, I'm kind of nerding out because of how much I talked about Tears of the Kingdom potential lore when it comes out. We talked about the fact that Raru has like an eye like this on his head. And he is basically one of the people from the sky. And in this game it's kind of hinted towards that the people of the sky used to be... Wait, yeah, this is like the same thing, right? 
Because the people of the sky used to be up there and then the hidden village is basically what then now in this game is the Sheikah. They used to be like together the, the Hyrule Castle people. So that was basically already a theme there that like the... That they descended. Which again... Kind of speaks about the fact that... Tears of the Kingdom is like a condensed Zelda timeline. Dress Mask 3D is a dumpster fire. But the DS version of Ocarina of Time is good. Or like better. So how do I get back? Oh there. Wait, huh? Oh well, that's not gonna work, is it? Because when I fall. So what do I do? I don't have the double claw shot yet. Oh! I didn't know there was a ground here, but I guess I know now. But what does the symbol refer to? It doesn't look like chickens. What do you mean? The third, like the the the, the, the eye, you know? Or what symbol are you talking about now? Like the third eye of the people of the sky? Don't they mention Raru and Skyward Sword? I think they kind of do. I think Gephora is supposed to be like Raru in a way. Also, I feel like I shouldn't be here. This very much looks like I should need the double claw shot for this. Yeah, this one at the door, yeah. And maybe that's a hint towards the Zonai or whatever you want to... In this game they were called the Uka, the Oka, whatever the people of the sky. I know the, the chickens now don't look like anything anymore. But I just like the fact that it seems to be the same theme, that the sky people and the people on the grounds or in this case the Sheikah or the people of the hidden village and the Uka both share this common theme also what do I have to do I'm, I'm lost I can't go the other way this looks like I would need the double claw shot to proceed but I couldn't really go anywhere else I couldn't go over there I couldn't go to the right because I needed a key Maybe I can go there. Oh, maybe I can go there, but I just need to wait for the... Wait, no, but I would... Oh, everything seems like I would need the double claw shot. But I know you only get that from the miniboss. Hmm. Maybe there is more I can do. I still don't have the map. This seems like the best bet. here yet and I can't see a way to get past this oh wait I have a key I have a key I'm, what I'm saying uh, I just look to the bottom right sometimes I open chests and I just talk about a random topic expecting it to be like 50 bucks and then it goes into my short term memory and gets deleted, apparently. Huh? What's going on? What the fuck? Random dragon appears again and breaks the bridge. But thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly, definitely. Uh, God, that's what, that's how I always understood it. Okay, 
Okay, now we can go to the others, I believe. Where it was locked. Basically, what I'm trying to say is like I feel like a lot of the themes of this game is were, were like reused in Tears of the Kingdom because I'm pretty sure even the people of the Twilight um, that we go to later have like some like a lot of things there will probably sound familiar in regards to the law of the depths. Wow, you joined and we didn't talk about pizza yet, but we probably will start talking about it soon because of your na of the name. Oh, of course. Why? Oh, well, goodbye. I only just now made this connection that I can just take their shell away. Wait, what? Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> You got a shell back. Okay, what does this do? That's kind of mean and hidden. Can I just turn up the wind? Okay, it does. Wait, no, it didn't. I turn up the wind back here, but this one is still active. Okay, I don't even know if it was meant to do this because it worked so well. I take it. This is a pretty large room. Let's check out the other room first because I'm starting to think that maybe the other room might have like the map. That seems pretty, pretty intended. See, maybe this is the map. Looks like it would be a map. It's the map. And there is more to this room. I can't access yet. Or at least I can't see how, so... I'm glad that I did go here. Now these updrafts seem like they would be useful when I have a chicken with me. What was that? Why is the camera like vibrating? Oh, okay. So they don't only push you up, they push you away. Got it. So I do have to avoid these. God, what is this? It looks like this wind. Okay, now it does stop. No! I just saw this guy. That's so mean. This is cool that this temple does definitely basically ask you to use all of your tools you have. Like so far we had to use the hookshot, we have to, had to use the... well, it didn't have to. It seems likely that you want to use the boomerang here. Also, Knudo, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a fun stream. I'm replaying Twilight Princess for the first time in like 15 years. I'm just gonna say 15 because I don't know exactly and that seems like the safe bet. I'm currently just before the late game, before the, the beginning, before the beginning of the late game I would say. This is like the last normal temple and then you get to like... What are the 
fi final boss type stuff. All right, Amos, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the bits as well. And you can obviously you catch the bots. No, it didn't spawn me all the way back, did it? What? I'm very sad. It is what it is. I could probably just grappling hook here. swinging and then literally throwing yourself off the cliff that is not a good move there we go all right is this is this boss room kind of looks like a boss room but i don't think it is well wait is it no it kind of looks like a boss room but I don't remember the boss just being two as Alphos. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, are you gonna like do something? It's like a mini mini boss. Kind of at the halfway point before the mini boss, I would expect. Now I can grab here. There's like one pixel that I can do. Perfect. Okay, and what does this do? It gave me an updraft. Oh, but now I can fly into the updraft like this. Understood. If you could play one video game for the first time over again, what would you play? Outer Wilds. Like, that is the freest answer of all time. I need to run 0 0.0 seconds to come up with the answer to that one. No! Um, it is on the Switch. I can recommend it on the Switch, not because I think it's bad, but because I haven't tried it on the Switch. Um, I would, if you have a PC that's decent, play it on PC. Because I don't think there's any advantage of playing it on the Switch. The only reason you would play it on the Switch is if you have no PC or your PC is an absolute turbo toaster. But there's almost no way that your PC is worse than a Switch if you think about it. Because a um, Switch is basically like an iPhone 4 in terms of performance. Like, I'm sure they optimized it and it runs. And a lot of people do prefer playing Auto on controller. I didn't. I preferred keyboard and mouse. But, uh, yeah, it depends. If you think your PC is really mediocre, I guess I can see... There, uh, I can see the reason to play it on Switch, but if you just have a decent PC, I would recommend getting it on PC. It's gonna make sure that your performance is as good as p possible, which um, isn't that important because it's not like a graphics heavy game, like where the graphics really matter, but um, because I like the game so much, 
I would recommend people just to get the least distracting experience like if the game was starting to lag and it would extract you from, distract you from enjoying the game and for what it is I just feel like that would be uh, unfortunate Because I rolled, he also jumped off the ledge. And I missed the cycle. You have like no control over these. It's really annoying. Uko Paragata Fabric, that could have been cool on theme. Okay, let's wait. Let's, let's be patient here. Okay, this one goes on. Now we jump in. What about this room? Also looks a little bit round and suspicious. Still no boss room. No, this is the room we've seen earlier. But from a different perspective. Okay. There's a door all the way down there. So in my mind, I'm like... Shouldn't I just... Jump all the way down? Or why could I not do this? Wait, did one of them just walk off? No, but almost. Okay, I feel like this is not what you're... Maybe this is what you were supposed to do. Because I think now I might get to the mini boss, And then we get the double hookshot and then we can go through the room again. But this time we'll have the double hookshot so we can climb up using it. Maybe? This would at least make a lot of sense. I think, and I think that's exactly what's happening. Or not. Ow! This is just an idea. <laughs> okay. That that does not make sense because shouldn't I have those iron boots in my pocket? Oh, okay, so this seems like a new best room. Oh, I just saw his shield. It's probably not the smartest idea to have a grappling hook spot on your shield. Also, I'm even kind of reminded and this this chain even reminds me a bit of like what a Zonai design would be. Okay, so are you gonna block us here? Yeah. Hey! Wow! Bring the Zalfos, yeah, but more dragon. More dragony. Okay, he's really mad now. Oh. What? Oh! Okay. Huh? What the fuck? That actually scared me.
What what am I supposed to do? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Can't reach those, can I? Are we winning? I'm not sure. Oh, it seems like maybe I can have him just in this perfect spot. Oh, I guess I was supposed to like time it, essentially. Where is he? No, wait, was I not supposed to? I'm really confused. I'm clearly missing the mechanic. No, okay, I thought I'm supposed to time it, but then his shield doesn't. Doesn't go there. I'm missing something obvious again, but don't, am I not? What? He's just attacking me and I... Okay, maybe I just need to be closer. Okay, okay, I actually hooked his tail or something, I see. What? That's so annoying. But I couldn't have grabbed him there. What is going on? This is crazy. Like I don't have the range. But sometimes I do, so what makes it what makes the game decide whether I can grab him or not? I'm clearly missing something here. Like there I wasn't able to do it. Because it was too high on something. <laughs> this is literally shit so. See, there's there is too high. I tried to do the shield attack, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I haven't done that in a while. Let me try that again, maybe that's the mechanic. I think I'm doing it too late. Bro, where is he going? He's just flying around for fun. I know what item I'm gonna get, yeah. Okay, I did the shield attack, but it didn't even really register. This is like phase five. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I remember this wrong, but doesn't the cave of ordeals have like two of these in one stage? You're fighting two of these or are they different? You just had to be in the right distance. Again, though, that's uh, the chain he had. Kind of zone I design. Copio. Oh, the window hides, so I can only grab him if he goes through this window. But was there like a way to manipulate him to which window he goes through? Or I guess not. So I know this is another hook shot. Oh, 
a double claw shot. Now we have two. How did I? Oh, because now I can collect the end. Then I can probably go here. Then I can go like here. No. But I can go like here. No. But here. No. Um, but what about going here? So now I can go. Yeah. Okay. This was actually. Okay. What? I'm starting to think this game sucks. Wait, why did that happen? Actually. I don't actually know. Yeah, the way that you can like hang down it is really cool. What? Oh, this is not even where I have to go. Do you have to go out of the window? You have to go out of the window. Is there like a grapple hook thing there? No. Maybe I, have to, I, I tried to aim it lower. Need more left. Do you have to jump down? No. You do not. Aim higher, okay. Try higher. The highest I can do is like this. Nice. Okay, I guess he was. The vines without a wall behind him couldn't be held onto. Once you're on that third closure point, yeah, probably. Also, I could have maybe asked Uber to return me to the shop because I think I have to go back to the main room now. And then to the middle bit. But actually, no, I can also go back to the left now. Now that I have the double claw shot. This is pretty cool. I think something like this could work really well in Tears of the Kingdom with like motion controls and better better controls in general. And better camera. What is your favorite dungeon Zelda dungeon in all of the games you've played? Mm, it would probably be between I really like Snow Peak Ruins. Snow Peak was it Snow Peak Ruins? Snow Peak Temple? What was it called in this game? I think that's cool. It's like a very different concept. Um, but the what is the wall center called in Skyward Sword? Ancient cistern. That's a banger too. Try to look where I can hook this. Hmm? This. I can't grab them if I'm not standing down. Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, I can hang on there. Nice. Okay, I got it. I got it.
That's a long hook shot. The sand chip was pretty cool. I like that Lenevru mechanic in general of making like little time bubbles. Oh, this is where I am now. I was here earlier. Wait, was I? Or was it just a similar room? I think I was only here earlier, right? It might have just been a similar room. God, this is not good for me because me having to do this. Oh wait, I can just do this. Why are you aiming? Use a potion. Okay, nice. Compass quiet. Where am I right now? <laughs> uh, wait. Map. I'm on the right still. I haven't been back to the left. And there's a couple of rooms and chests I can get there. My original plan was just to go back to the center room. That's where the boss is gonna be. But I probably need to go back to the left first to get the boss key, I would assume. is fun. True, but I kind of see the compass more as like a here. Um, uh, you can find some items that you may have not found yet if you want to item. I'm not gonna go to the center yet because again, I'm kind of assuming that's where the boss is. Well, I'm not assuming that's... It seems like that's what the map suggests. Wait, but didn't the dragon destroy the bridge here? It did. But I have the double claw shot now, so I can probably do something here. Oh, because it also thankfully spawned these things. For no reason whatsoever. Other than my personal convenience. That's a nice shot of that bird butt. Mm, okay, so we can go down now. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Let go? works really yeah, yeah you can target logs and mokusha targets yeah i keep remembering or finding out is this thing yeah this 50 bucks this game just got the magic armor i do remember the magic armor um i mean i, don't, I think i can only really get that if i restore marlo mart because otherwise it's 400,000 rupees which i believe you can't even hold so yeah oh wait how does the magic isn't the magic armor even 3,000 rupees normally and you have to like pay it 
one by one, like little by little, or am I misremembering this? Or even 5,000? I don't know. It is good if you're rich. I can't say if I like it though. I almost feel like I like the traditional tunic more. Which sounds kind of lame. But I genuinely feel this way, I think. That is very mean. Am I supposed to hit this like this? It's possible. It can be multi-step payment. Okay. That clearly hit, but sure. Whatever you say, game. Okay. Am I making progress? Am I going somewhere with this? I wouldn't believe I am. There's clearly a chest here. Wait, is this a new place? Have I been here? Okay, I definitely have not been here. Because there's a new room. Which I was... Oh great, I found the Uku stamp. Just what I needed. This room looks like a boss key room. Also, there's a big Mario sunshine plant. Wasn't this how it worked? I know this wasn't the forest temple. I'm trying to, like, I know you can take me throw a bomb in there, but I'm trying to remember if that was required. I guess it wasn't. Maybe for this part. No, it was not required for this part. Oh, maybe it was. Okay, come on. Cut me some slack, game. What? Okay, that, that did it work? I guess it worked. No, it didn't. Or did it? Finally. I think the bomb hit it, but it didn't like swallow it. Okay. Is it dead? Okay, it's dead. Why did I do this? For one heart. Ah, great. Isn't that just great? Um, um, Jesus, that was actually close. I didn't know where to go. Oh, I hate this. I hate this already from looking at this first obstacle. I'm already in physical pain. This is already making me look. No, 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 no. These controls and this camera, and then they made like a fucking like jump king, oh, like getting over it only up level. On top of that, the path of pain. When you can barely even control Link. And of course, they had to put keys there too, the perfect enemy for this. <sighs> Anxiety mode.
Wait, I can't even pull up. I have to do this. It looks like I can pull up. I can't. What am I doing this for? If this is 50, if this is another stamp, I'm going to be so sad. I came over here just for like 100% exploration. Sure, it is the boss key, right? Okay, it could be worse. But is this the only thing I came here for? No. Okay, I have hope. There's something like above me. But how do I get there? I have to go one floor up. And then I have to go back to this this thing. I have to like drop in, it seems. To reach. A chest. Do I have to slowly get back? Okay, it seems like there might be an angle to hit this. Oh god, it's gonna be close. So close. Pixel perfect angle. I believe in it. I probably shouldn't have believed in it. What if this is like a task thread? Okay, one pixel forward. Okay, now I'm now I'm just kinda invested. Doesn't this look super close? Like this should almost be it, no? Okay, I feel like it's almost impossible to get a better angle. I mean, maybe like one pixel back. This is too... Now one sword swing. Okay, I will not get this. By this I would have climbed back already. Okay, I give up. Maybe it's possible though. Maybe, maybe. Yo, Jupiter, thank you so much for the 40 months of tier 2. Hello, that all. That is absolute insanity. Thank you so much for your support, dude. I, seriously. Wasn't there a ledge you could drop down to on the left? Uh, if there was, I'm very sorry and sad. What that guy camped me. What did you get? What did you get, man? Yeah, I'm getting stunned on it. Thank you so much, Jupiter. Oof, it keeps going. Okay, so I'm glad that I came because this is certainly gonna be relevant for the boss key. If I went to the middle first again, I'm almost certain I wouldn't have had the boss key. Oh, wait, that was really lucky. Because I didn't see this thing. Uh, oh. What's this, Mrs? This is the personal computer. <laughs> that is Twilight Princess HD. Oh. Wait, did I make progress just then? I think so.
Okay, new area. Well, that's what we call commitments. <laughs> Commitment to the job. I just saw one fly above me. When I was down there. I don't know. Oh, there it is. No. Okay, I have like an idea what I'm supposed to do there, but I don't know if it's possible. Like if I hook that from the side, would I be higher up? Probably not, right? Oh, I see. That No, wait, what? Oh, I have to go down as well. Because there's like a hole in there. Because I think that's... That seems right. Yo, I think you've a good luck, Nuki. I hope you are well. I think I think it clicked, and I'm not gonna go for the pole. Okay, so we have to go like sideways. And I can hear what? That seems like it would perfectly work out. It's like link shaped, no? I have a lot of time to line it up. Oh, the shield has to be in the back or what? Am I doing it the wrong way or is this just a bait? His butt is too big. Maybe. Alright, this is it. Oh. I de didn't. That's the easiest solution ever. I overthought it. I, I Like, I thought that that gap is perfectly link shaped. So you have to, you're supposed to, like, squeeze them in there. But I guess the easiest solution is to go all the way down, of course. <clears throat> I wanted to be too smart. Here it's like more precise. I was playing, yeah, exactly. I thought that's the play. So I know there was a chest there, but I don't know if I can be bothered. If I'm being honest. Because it was probably like 50 rupees. Wow, you have like one frame to do the finisher. What? They get up so quickly. Try hearts. I guess I have to mash. Hey, I don't even know if it's possible. No, because if you mash, you jump back. Whatever. Okay, 
what's this? Oh, go. What is this? 20 bucks. What else? Ow. It seems like that's what you need to do, but I don't know how to turn off the, the fan. Because we need to be lower down. I remember there was a key there, which is probably the boss key. Oh, wait, maybe... Okay, so I see there's some birds. Maybe there's a switch on the top. Oh, that was like animation cancer. Bye-bye. He just jumped through the roof. The rope. Sorry, that's another word. Wait, can Link not be on these? Oh, I have to be Wolf? Wow, Link is not talented. Yeah, apparently so. There's another key over there. Got it by another po How many poles are there in the game? Like a hundred? Or is it more like 50? I can't tell. Sixty, okay. Okay. I don't like this room even a bit. But hey, we take those. All right, I'm out of here. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, wait, thanks! Never mind. That's what I wanted. Now, what's my best bet to return to the main path? Maybe from here. I use bird. Actually, that might be the best way. And I'm kind of out of potions as well. So maybe I do some shopping. Even though I barely ever use them. Yeah, sure. I take one more. Thank you so much. Now let me actually also, because I never do this in this game, because I always forget that there's no auto saves. Do a little saving. Hey kid, leave the shop now and you won't be able to go back to where mama, my mama was. Is that okay? Yes. That was not the point. Anyway. I didn't say for three hours. Yeah, that's I just realized it would have been like game ending if the if it somehow crashed. Uh bye bye. Like I would have just lost the will to play this game. 
which is kind of crazy i mean i guess it does it doesn't always want to spam you with do you want to save do you want to save but imagine your console actually crashing and you play this game and you're like almost done with the dungeon but it crashes at the boss or something and you especially here like this would have i think i would have lost all of the progress from this entirely like this huge fetch quest So that's quite wild. Um, I guess I have to fly. What? I guess there was no ground there, huh? The game hard controlled me there. What the fuck? That was like scripted. The camera randomly perfectly turned to the leaf. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll get there eventually. Right now. Grab the thing, nothing else. Thanks. That was very interesting. I'm getting, I'm getting bullied right now. Gotta leave. Gotta leave like right away. As quickly as I can. All right, we did it. Boss key acquired, temple cleared. It's boss time. It, it's boss time? Is it not boss time? <laughs> I just realized, I guess I have to turn off on the... Oh. The wind isn't blowing. Now, how do I turn on the wind? I thought we were done here. Huh? Wait. This is a giant temple, but I feel like I've been basically everywhere. Been everywhere on the right, everywhere on the left. Only place I haven't been is the center, but it seems like in order to get there, I need to first turn the wind turbine on. Or is there something I'm missing out here? Maybe there's another one of those um, spinner things. If I look around, there's also the suspicious birds. Is trying to attack me. This part was tricky for you. Damn, I thought we were done here. Wait. Okay, I can hook up here. And there's a hole in here. Making you think the game wants you to be able to get in here. Okay, I'm gonna try something that will probably not work. And I'll explain why I'll try it. It will probably not work. If it's if it works like that, that's like insanely mean. No. So the only reason I would ever try this is because I said earlier this dungeon kind of asks you to do every item that you've acquired so far. So I thought that would be in theme. Oh wait, maybe it is just like this. No, that wouldn't help. I do really have to turn on the wind. Okay, let's let's do the map. So this is where the... Is there any room above or below me? There is, but I was here earlier. 
Oh no, don't tell me. I had to stay there and do something else. I feel like maybe I did and I ruined everything. But what would I have done there still? That is where I got the boss key. But it's completely over. It would take me like 30 minutes to get back there. So I'm really hoping that's not the case. Actually. Shit, when did I save the game? Did I save the game before or after I left the shop? I don't remember. Oh wait, maybe it's not that difficult. Because there's a thing there. Ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Wait. It was before, okay, that's good. But I feel like I just have to pull the switch. I just don't know how yet. Oh, but maybe I had to be up there, then lower myself to hit that switch? Or is there another way? I don't know. But I mean, either way, it's good to know that it was before, so I have the option to go back if I need to. Like, maybe I have to lower myself through that vent. I have to turn off that vent somehow. Lower myself through it, then hit the switch. Like, that would make sense. Should I load? Shit. How does one even go to the title screen? Yeah, I see vines by the vent too, but the vines don't really help me because the fan is still on, right? And if I like grab onto these vines, for example, I can't grab them from them because Link uses both hands to hold onto them. Oh, but I guess I can get on top of this thing. Wait a second. I guess I can stand on here. And this is still too far, but I can reach this now. But again, this won't help because the, the, the vent, the thing is obviously on. Yeah, the pillars do seem to maybe lead me somewhere. But from here I can't reach. It looks so close though, what the fuck? Maybe you can. Okay, I call bullshit. Yeah. It's mainly because I'm, I don't want to be lazy. Um, the main reason is I don't want to... No, be, the main reason is I'm lazy. So And I don't want to go back to the title screen just to load. Because it seems like this is what I need to pull, right? This will turn on the, on the, the thing. But I don't want to go all the way back through all of those... Like, hanging on the moving plants. Oh wait, there is also an open window there that I don't know if I went out there. Not sure if that matters. Yeah, the blue blocks go down. But that's just a general mechanic. So 
support with the decision you make. Let me check this first. Wait. Could I be able to get up here now? No, I don't think so. I would have to go through the whole thing again. Wait, so how does one actually go to the title screen? I've literally never went to the title screen in this game. I usually save and then just turn it off. I guess after you save the game, it asks you do you want to quit or something. Can't quit here. Can't quit here. Refrigerator. Okay, I'm confused now if this is supposed to be like a cryptic hint. Or if um, you're just saying the word refrigerator. No, it's not. Okay. Fridge. I should really be loading her, huh? shouldn't I? Can you stand on the wall at all? What wall? What have you done the dungeon so far? Everything. Um, I have the boss key and I need to turn on this wind turbine. And I think I need to do it by hanging on this switch. And I believe you would have to basically hang on the ceiling up there, lower yourself through the fan, and then hit this, activate the fan, GG's. I have the dungeon item. Exactly. I've done everything. The, the thing is, after obtaining the boss key, I teleported back to the shop, thinking that I could just go to the middle, and clear the dungeon and beat the boss, but I realized I was missing the part of turning this on, so I reverged all of my progress. Right now, what I would like to know from anyone that plays this game before, how do you quit the game? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have never done this without just turning off the emulator and everything. Is there a way to go back to title screen in this video game? Or not? Do I have to just turn off the console, essentially? That's the question. Right now. You have to save, and that's the only way that's secret. Okay. So I have to make a save in a different file. No, I can just return the title. <laughs> okay. Not that it really matters. Because from what I understand, this save should be inside the shop. What? It's not inside the shop. Or what? So it's, it's over. The outside is also considered a dungeon. Yeah, but like I thought I saved inside the shop after I have used weird chicken lady. Oh god, I can't take this. Maybe it's guide looking up time, because otherwise I won't have enough brain capacity to continue the rest of the game. <laughs> well, it's not even guide looking up time. I'm pretty sure I have to just do the entire section again now. I have to go all the way up to the left, then over to the middle, just to turn off the turbine. To go down. <laughs> If you could use chicken, then you're in a dungeon, that's how she works. Okay, that's not what I'm saying, Silas Gamer. What I'm saying is, I used the chicken to return to the shop and then saved the game. So I was hoping that when I load the save, I would still be in the shop. Which would allow me to then use the chicken to return back to the dungeon position. I was in previously. 
Um, so that I could get back to the point I was at. Um, but the save apparently doesn't put you back in the shop. Even though I saved it in the shop. It puts you back to the spawn point of the dungeon. Making it so that you can't use the chicken. And my position is no longer saved. And I have to now essentially just go all the way back. But it is what it is. Shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. Maybe even 10. Maybe there's even a shortcut that I'm not aware of. Is that my favorite video game franchise? No. And that's not because of this specific thing. Uh, I, oh shit, I forget that. Yeah, we don't wanna have to think so. Can I maybe somehow? Oh, I was really hoping I could maybe take a shot to this somehow. Boss isn't like the rest of the dungeon. It doesn't really have a designated go here, and there's a boss door. I'm not sure what you mean by that comment. I, I have played this game like 15 years ago, so I don't. I know. I know what the boss is. But what do you mean that um, the boss isn't like the dungeon? The boss door isn't the same as in it's not easy to see. I'm still confused, but I will see it when I get there. I know where the boss is, I just need to turn on the wind turbine to get there. But maybe it's obvious that I'm not understanding. Again, the reason I'm going here right now is to be able to even, at least from what I'm understanding, turning off the wind turbine. Turning on the wind turbine. Uh, how do I proceed here again? No, don't worry. I, I'm sure I'll get it once I reach that point. I remember doing this, so this should be decent. No, I know what you mean. Like, I'm also a huge, a huge fan every time the Zonai voices come in. in um, Tears of the Kingdom Temples. So I get you. Oh god, what is this room again now? Okay, so we're already here. Oh, now we have to go all the way back up here. This is what I mean. I remember this is a huge undertaking. Just to get back to that point. Ah, oh, that's that that is pain. I literally thought I was gonna save time and ended up losing an hour. Not that this is a speedrun, but this probably means I'll be awake for quite long tonight. Hmm? Do 
was strange. Go to the double, double closure room. Wait, why? Is the way to turn on the wind turbine in the double closure room? It didn't seem that way. It might be there. Oh, okay. Should I go there? I think it's at the top. Uh, thank you for the good luck, Rodrigo. with the camera it should be good uh, this is not what I need what I thought it died oh, okay. it died now This from here, I cannot. I can't reach this either. How did I do this earlier? I went, I went back from the chest to here. Mm, no purse. Oh, it was something on the ceiling, but I couldn't reach this. Here. How did I go back here earlier? Because I remember I got the hard container over here and then I went back. Somewhere around here. This honestly looks like close, but I think. It's just not in range. That thing on the ceiling definitely activates the turbine. It doesn't. I was there before. It's all coming back? Okay, clearly it isn't. Because, uh, oh, that was a good shot. Because I've been there. Yeah, yeah, I need to go back where I got the big key. It makes a lot of sense. I need to turn off the downward turbine where I got the big key. Then hang on the ceiling. Oh god, this is absolute pain. Uh, hang where on the ceiling, lower myself through the fan, and then I can hit the switch, activate the main turbine, and then I can make my way to the boss. That's how it should be. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Let go. Roll over here again, then we have to use the flying plants again to kind of like go around. It's sad that this happened twice now. Uh, once at the, at the Temple of Time, I didn't have the boss key. And then once at... Um, once here. Maybe this is what Aonuma thinks of when he's surprised why people say that they want the old temples back because the flaws can definitely become quite apparent in these moments. Is there already really? I don't even remember. I think now we have to go around, right? Back to the middle. Oh, that's unfortunate. There was one pixel to go. 
too high. The hook shot. <laughs> they really don't want to do this the hook shot. Damn. They hate the hook shot. Alright, again. They make sure they go all the way down on the next one. Is this one always going this far right, I guess? It would be cool if you could swing on the hookshot, because if I got to this door over there, I would be real close. Let's make super sure I'm low enough. Enjoy dinner, sleepy, and thank you. Maybe I can do it. This dungeon has defeated me, but um, I, I'll get the title back. It's just, it, it's literally... Let's not get upset. It's unfortunate that it was basically one door press that ended up losing like an hour of time I will recover okay back to the center I remember I remember you has go back to Boski I know <laughs> that's what I'm doing that's what we are doing right now. This thing we need to turn off somehow. If you can turn this thing off, you can go down and hit the switch. Yeah, Zach was saying earlier that it was the most... Um, Confusing one for him too. Which, it, I don't think it's that confusing. This is really just unlucky. Um, I'm making the mistake here was me assuming things. My assumption was okay, we have the boss key now, we can go to the boss. Because that's exactly what helped me back last time, right? Like last time I was thinking. Uh, now the question is how do we turn it off? And last time I was thinking I can go to the boss now, but I forgot that I didn't have the boss key So I went there and it was the boss key that was holding me back this time I was this time I'm getting the boss key before I'm trying so I went and got the boss key and was like now I'm going to the boss, but there was still something that's missing um, So I was up there earlier obviously that's where I got the boss key now I can enter this room, but I don't know how to turn off the fan Just use a paraglider and fly up yeah the dream they did add that in Skyward Sword, right? There is also these vines that will not turn off a fan. You gotta, bro, you gotta go above the boss key room and then there's a switch. Got it. Do you even have to go there or can I just like hit it? Okay, by the way, you don't need to say every single thing um, I have to do. I've been here, like you know, because I have the boss key. 
Um, but I appreciate you getting all excited and stuff. Thank you for telling me where the switch is. That's really helpful. So this is where the boss key was, obviously. There's a power and a chest over there that I'm not really interested in. How do I get a buff? Okay, did you listen, <laughs> Silas? I will have to time you out if you just don't understand. But I will repeat, don't play the game from my perspective. Okay, well, I will time you out now. You have some time to think. Um, if it still doesn't work after the timeout, it's gonna have to be a ban. I want you twice. Does Midna put it there on purpose? The chain? Yeah, maybe she's into that, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Also, they were wrong anyway. This is not even above. Uh, this is not even above the boss uh, key room. Wait, is this not? Oh, yeah, exactly. Now I have to iron boots it. This turns of this. I, w I didn't mind some backseating there anymore because I was just annoyed. But um, that was next level. Holy shit. It's almost over, surely, right? Because now we can get at least to the middle room. I don't know how much else is left. Has this been the longest I've been in the dungeon? It has to be. The Abyss Grounds is probably up there. But I think this still takes the cake. Try to be too greedy there. make a wish is that a thing Do you, does that work on every time like is 12 12 also valid oh now the real temple begins oh and we are already doing two of those wow i thought what the fuck i thought it happens later in the cave of ordeal or deals or whatever, not now. But at least there's no windows this time. Hey! You know what I also... No, I think I saved after I bought the potions. So I think I should have the potions at least. On the save. Okay, we, they, we don't do the second part with these guys. That's exclusive to the mini boss version. I appreciate that.
That's obviously much easier if they don't have phase 2 going on. Or the 15 minute detail. Wait, the. I, it only took me 15 minutes? It felt like more, but that's good then. rotation never realized long assembly as well again i also apparently lost like 15 minutes from leaving after the boss key but i also didn't expect it to be even more here that is stunning still not what was my least favorite so far, actually is this my least favorite because of recency bias and being annoyed and losing Doing the detour? No. I think overall. What was my least favorite? I don't know. I, maybe this time around it may have been the lake bed temple which is weird because i remember really liking it when i first played this game but maybe i like the mechanics of it or it was because i had internet issues when i was there uh, in the stream It keeps on going. I, I do know that this is essentially now the boss arena, like kind of, and I kind of remember the boss fight a little. I know it's a dragon, obviously, we've seen the dragon. I see it, I see it. Huh. I, I don't like really remember the fight as in exactly what you have to do. I remember there's these pillars and you hook onto them and then you hook onto the dragon. But do you hit them with the sword? Like what exactly happens? We're about to find out. Because we're here at this football stadium. football pitch very nice of the dragon to have a perfect uh, grappling hookable tail accessory my boy Argo Rock I wish I could see him on the screen. I, 
I, I still haven't seen him ever since I got to see him, actually. Where is he? Where is he right now? He's flying around. Oh. Oh, and then iron boots. Put his tape. What happened? Something exploded. Oh, I just remembered the second part of the fight as well, I think. I still don't know where he is. I know at some point... These planned things spawn. Oh, we're getting rid of his armor. And there it is. It's very much like a rough Twilight piece. This is a cool boss, I agree. I do agree. It's all good, Silas. As long as you can stick to the rules of not constant backseating, we are chilling. Yeah, although the armor looked so pretty. I see, that's the plan. How many contestants are this far when I checked? Yesterday was like 25. I think I had. Which I like. I wouldn't want it to be much more than like 30, honestly, because it would probably get. It would take too long to raid them. Outfits. I mean, I don't either. I'm honestly gonna steal everyone's inspiration. He's gonna like, he's gonna try and attack me. Zooming towards me. to get behind him. But I lost my chance. Okay, let him go to me again and then yep, do the fire. If he's done with the fire, I can reach his back. Yeah, this is still cool. Um. The bosses in these games are not very smart, are they? 
the fact that they fall for the same strat twice. I did not expect him to switch it up on me. I was so in my... I wasn't even like looking at the screen. I was like, oh, this is so easy. But then he switched it up on me. Sneaky. Fall damage would have hurt a lot there. That's true. I think he just got smarter and he's gonna anticipate me doing this, so I have like switch directions. this time. Bye-bye, friends. He is kind of a... I mean, I guess... Snakes and dragons and other games kind of go hand-in-hand in, hand in some ways. Because his, his head looks very snake. Knots. Link, you did it. It's the fourth shot. Now you have them all. Hey, Link. The words of the sages, do you remember them? Only the true ruler of the Twili can destroy the Mirror of Twilight. Zand could only break the Mirror of Twilight into shards. He couldn't utterly shatter it. That's proof of his false kingship. True. Midna is spitting facts. We have to hurry. To the Mirror Chamber. After all, a fake is a fake, and no matter how much you dress it up, the real thing always wins. Let's go. We're going right away, I think. I get you out of here. Perfect. <clears throat> Safe. This time, for real. Let's see how long this took. Um, I can't warp here. I guess we have to take the cannon. Oh, 
07, city in the sky. On to the mirror chamber. You cannot warp now. Okay, I'm swimming. It does make sense. Now, what? We, we can warp here, right? Oh. The bird is seeing me? No, I think it's a cannon man. What? Who sees me from here? There is no way the man can see this far. Wait, no. What are you saying? Anyway, uh, like I said, on to the mirror chamber. Can't be open in front of the bird. Is that actually, like, is that how it works? I was thinking with the man or the bird, but why would the bird be mad? It's a bird. Or are you saying it like that? That doesn't make sense either. Anyway, we got the pieces. Does Link die every time he's teleported? Yeah, good question. It kind of looks like Star Trek teleportation, where your body gets like reconstructed. Let's break the chains. We have tried it's a very cool design. I still have never gotten the paraglider fabric of this. I know it's in, in uh, Tears Kingdom. of the Kingdom. Some call our realm a world of shadows, but that makes it sound unpleasant. The twilight here holds a serene beauty. You have seen it yourself as the sun sets on this world. Faith in that light, all people were pure and gentle. But things changed once that foul power pervaded the world. He was mad. It was all our doing. We overestimated our abilities as, a, as sages and attempted to put an end to Ganondorf's evil magic. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. When we were theorizing stuff for Tears of the Kingdom, this makes you look so stupid because the story is basically always the same. It just is. At the end of the day, people were annoyed at Breath of the Wild's lore, but I think it's actually really cool because it's the only one that's really, really different. Tears of the Kingdom is just this again. The sages fighting Ganondorf back then, underestimating their power, sealing him, failing people in the sky. Like, anyway. I hope you can find it in yourself to forgive our carelessness. Oh, Twilight Princess. What? No way! The title drop. She's really shy right now. What? So you knew? I didn't. No, I mean, I did. Sorry. Of course I did. I did play this game. And that's obviously something I remember. As a ruler who fled her people, I'm hardly qualified to forgive you. Real Midna reveal. I kind of forgot how she looks like, though. Let's see. Looking. Ghost slapped her. The ghost slapped her into a different form. Well, she looks weird without the headpiece. Cursed. Th wait, what? I need to kind of see this headpiece again. Does the headpiece have... Anyway, in our world, we've long believed that the hero would appear as a divine beast. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what now? 
In our world, we've long believed that the hero would appear as a divine beast. That's why when I found you, I thought I could use you, Link. Wait, look, on her headpiece, isn't that a, isn't that a snake or a dragon eating each other? Like literally the Tears of the Kingdom logo, I'm sorry, but isn't that what her helmet depicts? I just saw this, like at the front, and I only cared about returning to the, uh, our world to normal. I didn't care what happened to the world of light, not at all. You see, like on her forehead, it's like a dragon on the left side and a dragon on the right side, and they're like, one is eating the other. But after witnessing the selfless lengths that Princess Zelda and you have gone to, your sacrifices. I know now that in the bottom of my heart that I must serve this world too. There's no other way. Here, look. You know what I mean? I I'm using my mouse right now to show. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. This is like one and this is the other. Or what is what else is this supposed to be? I guess just like a thing. It's just a thing. If we can just if, if we can just defeat Zand, the curse on me will dissolve, and we may be able to revive Zelda. Which I still thought it was weird, like the way she just like died for Midna, like out of nothing. Let's go, Link, for Zelda, for all of this world. Like, I mean, look at the moon of Twilight. That even looks like a so nice part. Okay, I'm seeing... I'm see. I'm obviously intentionally playing into it. But if you do, you really see... You see it everywhere. Yeah, it's like Style of the Ruins design. Just like all of the things from the people of the sky kind of are. You don't see it, but don't you see it here on the Mirror of Twilight itself? That these are like two snakes, essentially. Like, there's a Triforce, and there's a snake on the left, and a snake on the right. And it looks like on Midna's design, they're like kind of intertwined. The circle here isn't closed, yeah. I'm reading into it way too much, don't get me wrong, but like... Obviously, these games are not related in ways, but it's like... It is always the same story. That's really cool, yeah. Related like Zing <laughs> Link and Zelda? Like Zink and Lelda. That's right. What is Zink good for? I don't know how much Zink I consume in my daily life, like, at all. Is that important? Isn't it for your... Hair? No. Or for your nails? I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> it makes you live forever. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm listening. Can I ask you one last selfish favor? For immune system? If that's true, that would make a lot of sense. Cell growth and immune system. Oh! That's why I keep getting sick. Oh, not not currently. Recently, I haven't been sick that much. But I feel like I don't look at my zinc intake at all. How do we get from Zelda lore to uh, minerals? Because I confused Zelda and Link. I swapped the first letters and we had Zelda and zinc. And zinc is a mineral. Um, regardless of what my reasons may have been, I once abandoned this world. I left behind the twi Twili. Those who had followed me, who considered me their ruler. Even now as they remain here suffering, they believe that help will come for this world, which is the case. But if they were to see that the only help for them was a hideous little imp, don't you think they'd let... They'd feel let down. Oh, don't worry. They can just look at me, Gigachat Link. You can just hide. It's only for a little bit longer. Do you mind if I continue to hide as your shadow while you're in human form? What? Of course. Where's oh, the problem? We've been doing this the whole time. Okay, that looks pretty sick. I also... The music is cool, and I also remember the interior of the shrines. When I first played Breath of the Wild, I was reminded of this temple. 
um, when it comes to the interior of the shrine, so I wonder if it still feels that way. So these are the treaty, right? They're like not inherently bad. Wait, this guy isn't an enemy, Link. They might look different, but they're inhabitants of this world. They're my people. Zand, how could he... So he like transformed them? But what happens if I go... Sense mode? Okay, they still look like this. This track is used. This is isn't this like every intro? You, I can already hear Monster Mace's voice. You know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, hello? I kind of just went in here, didn't even check the other doors. Oh, also you get something in this game that you never really got again. Well, I guess not, that's not exactly true. Because I guess in Breath of the Wild you have the... The, ma the Master Swords um, glows when you're next to Guardians. But having like the light version, the li I don't know what it's called in this game, is pretty fun cool. Okay, there's a Zand head. Like the Master's clone? Yeah, yeah. this wait is it i don't think it is yet it's not it's gonna glow a lot more later i thought that's what you meant is this a grappling hook thing oh okay. it'll glow a lot more later look this is what i mean Look! It's the Tears of the Kingdom logo! Dun, 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 dun. Look at the pot! It's a snake. Snakes eating each other. I told you I didn't just imagine this. It's like on there. Is that a so nice one? But like it is. See? Right here. No, I'm kidding. So what do you do about this again? Wait, don't you need the sword for this? I think this is exactly what you need the light sword for. Oh, or it automatically turns you into a wolf. Link, be careful. This black frog is made out of shadow crystals created by Zand. They blot out light. He's responsible for stealing the light from the spirits and turning your world into twilight. But he's not all powerful. But prepare too. I can return you to your normal state whenever you need me. So don't worry, okay? Okay. So I guess for now we are like kind of forced into the swarm. Oh, that guy needed a lot of attacks. So the Zonai became twi Twilly? I mean, I no, I think the Zonai are basically the Uku, Oku, Oku. And the Twilly are like whoever lived in the depths. No, it, it doesn't work out quite that way, but yeah. Twilly? Is that not how you're supposed to say it? Are you actually supposed to say Twilight? It, it sounds wrong to me. But Twilight? I guess Twilight? The Twilight. Really sounds cuter, exactly. I think I, I, I also only say that because I watched some theory video of somebody saying Twilly. 
No, no, I know, I know. I, I, I think I was saying Twilight at first. Okay, but let's think about it. Also, there's the boss from Super Mario and uh, 64. Let's think about it for a second. What other words start with L-I other than light? Oh, like telling a lie? A lighter? But is there other words that are with L-I -E -L that are not related to light? License, life? L okay, see, ligma, you say Lee. L Lee there. The Twilly. Lift, you say Lee there, you know? But I guess because it comes from light, it's more likely to be twi twi lie. What about Twily? Twily. Twily is actually pretty cute. The Twilies. But then I feel like I prefer Twily. Twilly. It's cuter. You say linen, right? Lim cube. Exactly. Oh, hi there. What is he doing? He's throwing an orb. He's burning a ton of... That is extremely loud. It was always loud. Dude, stop. They, 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 every time I was in the Twilight Realm, these screams were too loud. So is he standing like a hologram? Wait, he's, he's doing a little trolling. Stop it! -la 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 -la. I guess I should support. I should, yeah. Wait until he does his attack. Wait, so are we already getting the sword now? Because it kind of felt like a mini boss, but not really mini boss. But it looks like we might. It's called a soul. It's like the sun of your world. Like the power of the soul is the source of life in this world. It's pure power. Ah, as long as you have this, would you take the soul to the twilly at the entrance of this world, please? Uh, sure. So this won't light up my sword, but it will give me act as like a lantern. Oh, okay. I don't know how I did this, but it works. The hand is mad. It's actually becoming the enemy from the hit game Mario 64. Oh! Oh wait, it's trying to steal it or what? Hey. I, I was gonna say I made a mistake. I just realized it. I wasn't all the way up. Get rolled. You can hookshot that? I did. I literally did it unintentionally. Oh, don't worry, Artsy. 
I saw the I saw the mail house by the way. I think I've seen that before. I didn't know it was mail in there though. Wait, it can come through the walls? Aware. I literally, I literally unintentionally hookshotted it. By the way, when I when I tried to grab it for the f at first, it wasn't even my intention. Great cutscene, dude. But see, now I can pay, I can make the hand like do the work for me. I'll just do this. Being in my walls. Easy dodge. Easy dodge, easy sidestep. Okay, I disrespected too hard. I understand. Okay, I understand. I understand. It was a mistake. Glowstone. It seems like the hand can follow us here. Oh! He returned back to his normal form. Honestly, I kind of preferred him before. That is actually so cursed. You know what this reminds me of? This is literally what these chillers art horror game characters look like. Have you played those games? Like, this is literally how they will look at you. With like a flat face like this and like a like a PNG hair texture. Yeah, the game is super fun. Have you played the parasocial one, Arty? That's like a really fun game for streamers specifically. Because you play as a streamer. Yeah, that was scary. Um, oh, I guess I'm supposed to bring it to the center? Oh yeah, I have to get two of those, it seems. I think there should be one more soul. If we can find that, it should lead us to Zen. Oh, so we have to get the other one, then we get our Master Sword like all powered up. And we can probably go to the middle. To um, fight the boss. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really had direct stalkers, but I have, like, ever since I remember, I played that game during, I did, like, a long stream last December, um, where I did, like, two weeks of full streaming, right? And one of those streams was to play this parasocial game, and then the other day I was just playing some Elden Ring, just chilling, and I ordered food. I ordered, like, a döner kebab. And then I got, like, a message from, like, a guy that said, like, hey, man, where did you order your döner kebab? I live in the same city as you do. And it looks nice. And like, maybe there was just a nice meant message and I wanted to order it, but my brain immediately went like... <laughs> they're gonna call the kebab place, they're gonna retrace my address. And it's Joe. So it actually made me more paranoid. Why didn't the Parasocial play to get a VOD? It should've, because it was good. I, c I still have it. The VOD should still be up from the stream. I do want to have like a, a day on stream where I play like a horror game or like a short casual game. 
I, th I think probably Saturdays. Like this time I'm gonna do... Um, this Saturday obviously doing the fashion contest after the main content. Okay, I was trying to be fancy. Okay, whatever. Oh wait, this doesn't even work. But in general I like this idea. Man. Okay, this is impossible to... I watched Little Aggie play, um... <laughs> I, I forget what it's called. It was called like... I don't know if anyone here watches Aggie, but it was called like Horror Golf or something. Horror Mini Golf. It was the worst video game I've ever seen. But it was really funny. Can you already do the, the thing here? Where's it going? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I was wondering if you can already do the tennis game. I guess for now we're just doing parkour. Use the downtime to open the chest. 50 bucks. I do not like the thing either. Floating sand hat. Huge euros. I wish I could say that, but I got a date. See you Hope you beat it though. I mean, let's be real. Going to the actually, I mean, I guess it depends. I hope the date goes well because I was gonna say, would you rather watch Lim Cube do the Twilight Temple or go to a date? But maybe the date will suck, and you're gonna be like, man, I wish I was watching Twilight Princess right now. But I hope it doesn't. You know, okay, okay, well then Have a good time and the vault for this will obviously go into the watch channel anyway Stream your day Is that allowed? Because I feel like I haven't really seen that but it seems like such Oh, so wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, I want to look at the back of Zen's head. Those three masks on the back also look so incredibly Zonai, don't they? <laughs> Everything he does. Yeah, exactly. That's what. I, yeah, exactly. The the aspect. Is there the aspect? Zand was the ancient hero. I know. Wait, which side am I on right now? Is this the correct side? Oh, it is. Oh, but I don't have the key. Where was the chest? Up there, right? Oh, I forget that I can do... That. I forget that I can like, go down.
Wait, did I get lucky? Because there's like a lot of other chests and I just happened to pick the one with the key. What do the other ones have? The... Do I have the map yet? I did not have the map yet. Yeah, um, that's how I felt in the second, in the fire temple. I didn't have to look it up essentially, but I had to ask chat essentially. And it was like, the, the, the solution to my problem was that you just have to hit the boss. But I overcomplicated it so hard that I just didn't do it. Sometimes it's just like that. Oh, we got the Zand Stamp. Yo, that one looks kind of clean. I mean, Breath of the Wild honestly was like overcomplicating the game. Right, with the shrines. At least for me, when I played casually. Are we fighting Zand again or what? What's up, Gold Wall? That expression that Link had, that was so fun. Thank you for the good luck. Are you playing today until you finish the game? Yes. How long do you think it will it take me from here, by the way? I'm trying to make a rough estimate. Like, from my memory, I would have, I would have guessed around three hours, but maybe it's a lot longer. And the, the last time was a lot longer than I remember. Three to four hours. I'm pretty sure the, the Zan fight, if I remember correctly, does take a bit, and then I'm pretty sure Hyrule Castle is quite large. And then the final fight is like a bunch of phases. Such a funny guy. What? Oh, he isn't even spawning anything. It's just like. Dude, why am I not? I mean, I guess I should go wolf maybe again. That was easier. That was nice. Can you play tennis with him? I know you. I know you can do that later, but I don't know if you can do that yet. I was trying to build this head statue earlier. Like I know that's part of like the final fight, the end of the tennis, the classic. 
He is taking damage. It's uh, the other guy was also just pretty tanky. They should remake this game for the next gen console. Absolutely. They really should. And I feel like this is, this is already the HD version, which has some improvements over the original. But I feel like they could have done even more. They could still do even more if they were to do it again. What? I guess I didn't pick it up. This is not a good, not a good time for a cutscene, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I would be very mad if I was at hand, not gonna lie. That was like one frame before it went to the ground. Prime Gaming. Yo, 50 months of priming. Holy shit, Pepsi. Thank you so much. For the 50 months of Prime Gaming. I, that's a shit of support. Thank you so much, Pepsi. I'm gonna head off to bed since it's midnight, but good luck with beating the rest of the game. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. Of course, if you want to catch up on it, it'll be on the watch channel tomorrow or alternatively on the bot YouTube. Oh wait, I just realized something. I probably am... What does this do right now? Oh, this is new. I almost has composure, but almost keys being keys. I don't even know if they're considered keys, those shadow twilight ones, but could have been very sad. I can't, I can't get over the fact that when I hear this music now, Monster Maze in my head is like saying like, The depths and tears of the kingdom have been the most puzzling place of us. And then like he presents like some theory. Right, anyway, there we go. The light master sword. Light filled the master sword, its blade glows with a golden light in the trident realm. With it, you can cut through dark. Amazing, the powers of the souls have transferred to your sword. The guardian deities of my world are on our side too. You really are the chosen one, Link, a true hero. Also, what is this twilight over there? As long as you have that sword, you should be able to repel the shadows Zand has spread. <laughs> what is this guy? Lol. I like this guy's face. 
There it is, yeah, see? This looks so cool. They don't, they don't like the sounds they make, though. Is it just to show me that I can one-shot all of them now? What? Wait, what? Wait, where am I? It put me all the way back here? Well, wow, I like the glow that we have on us right now. Definitely not a fan of the sounds that these Twilight or Twili are making. So, uh... Okay, I guess that works. Now, I don't remember how, what is in here. It's like another big section. Or are we heading towards the Mr. Zand now? Okay, looks like we still got some stuff to do. This once again reminds me of something, that thing on the wall. I need to actually slice. It sounds like they're trying to be spooky, I know what you mean, they're like... Ooh. So what does this do? That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Control is getting the better of me. I don't think I can energy tennis this thing. This projector. What? Got the gun. This is actually four of them. There we go. That's probably the key. the same puzzle that we did in um, that one shrine above the wild where you have to do this with the torch we get to the door and i'm already gonna switch to the bow but i'm scared that this one keys Oh, like these enemies. Why do they put these enemies there? To troll you, of course. To make you sweat. Oh, we're like on the roof. I don't remember this part. There's some birds hiding back here. Isn't 
Please get away, please. God, what is going on? This is me like hitting flies. It's get one. He's got one shot now. The single jump attack. This is actually a horror game in disguise. It has been. I guess it has been this entire time. It has been all along. Okay, so we still got this floor. Floor one had these. Floor two has these. Then we have to go through this room. And it looks like a straight corridor. Up to the boss. This one isn't really too puzzly, I feel like, this dungeon. It's kind of scary, but it's pretty straightforward so far. And I, I feel like that's what I remember from playing the game a long time ago. That, that was my impression back then, that it felt kind of straightforward. Now, that, what does this mean? Does this mean I can actually kill these guys without wolfing now? It does. I like this color a lot, this glow. Okay, did I choose the wrong platform or what? What was the what was the puzzle there? Oh, I'm already I, I'm this might be the thing that strikes that I had to look up. How am I supposed to, like, I'm sure there's like a hint. I'm just kind of jumping on random platforms. And it's working so far. But maybe there was like... I'm pretty sure I'm like missing like a mechanic right now or something. A hint when you can just do it, I guess. But I actually do need a hint because what do I do now? I'm just kind of stuck here. Oh, I guess I can get up there. Holy shit. That was too scary for me. Huh. The key. What for, though? I guess whatever this is. Hey. And this platform will take me there. Looks like it, and this looks... A lot like we're getting close to a to 
into a pretty suspicious looking room. <laughs> One more corridor though, and then there's a very suspicious looking purple dot at the end. Okay, well I don't have a, a key. Again. You gotta be kidding me. This is happening again? There's no way it's here. The only way it could be, the only way it is that it could be here. Unless I can just walk up and hit it. I can't. I cannot believe that this is happening like seven times. Like, uh, every single temple right now is exactly this. I thought maybe this temple doesn't have a boss door for some reason the same way. The only annoying part is they have to go all the way back now. Again. At least this time I don't have to deal with heads. Wait, is this the outdoor area? It is, right? Because I actually did clear this fog, not expecting to be anything behind there. Because I just saw these birds. But I guess there was something? Because there's clearly... Okay. I'm missing something here. Probably at the waterfall, but higher up, or like I call it a waterfall, it's more like a shadow fall. Yeah, to me, the sounds they make, they remind me of like Eldritch Horror type sounds. Okay, so I took this one to go over to the right. But then when I took the one on the right, it seems to just get me back. But there is apparently a chest there somewhere. I also just realized Oh, maybe I'm missing an obvious mechanic. And maybe I I'm still trying to figure out what the point was that Strike had to look up. But I have one idea. Because they did put a suspicious amount of birds here. Is that the hint? Become wolf and let the bird carry you or something? Or will this actually go up? And is that even something you can do? Without like, playing the melody? I'm sorry. No, are those even the same birds that carry you in that one minigame? Okay, I'm starting to think now that this... Oh, okay. I saw it. Didn't seem that obvious. It was kind of hidden. Wow, that hit me in the last second. What? There's another one? Oh, okay, there is. But the white is too easy? Yeah, it's a common complaint. 
I don't think the Tears of the Kingdom ones are much harder. But better themed. Searching for the keys though, I am not a fan of that. That can that can We can stop we can stop doing that in the future too. I agree. Oh, okay. So this is where it was. Could have been worse. The big key. Just gotta get up that lift again. Really? That's bullshit. I was. That was the one time. Okay, actually, this works out for me. That was actually faster. That was actually faster. I'm not even coping. It was faster to get to the door like this. Not even coping. Wait. Will this get me all the way back up? Because I fell down? Like a nice friend? Oh, wow, I think it will. I guess I spawned like a safety safe. Damn, that's so nice. It's almost like the game knew I was gonna forget the key. That's a good video game moment. I appreciate it, video game. All right, time to unleash evil anime villain Zand voice. Although I'm pretty sure he's about to lose his shit in this next cutscene. What? That didn't happen earlier. I guess because I didn't have the key? Okay, boys, chill. How many more? What? What now? Eight? No. Okay. Well, there we there we go. This is not quite the final boss of the game, but like the boss before the final boss type thing, which I thought was really cool. In this game, like everything, kind of leads up towards this being the final boss. And then it's not really. But this is probably, in my memory, my favorite boss in the game. Let's see if this is still true. I just really liked going back to the temples and using those mechanics. And I'm pretty sure it even has like a phase at the end where you're just like sword fight. But we'll see. Here we are. That looks already really cool. We got the serpents. <clears throat> that's that, that's how my throne room would look like. This is pretty cool. That was a very aggressive transition. <laughs> Zand. Isn't this ironic? Here we are, all thanks to the dark magic curse you placed on Link. You speak of magic? <laughs> Still. Your tongue for a moment, Welp. And I will tell you of both magic and the oppression of ages. People of our tribe, a tribe that mastered the arts of magic, were locked away in this world like insects in a cage. In the shadows, we regressed. So much so that we soon knew neither anger nor hatred, nor even the faintest bloom of desire. And all of it was the fault of a useless do-nothing royal family that had resigned itself to do it to this miserable half-existence. Oh, he did a cool spin. And now he's going sicko mode. I had served and endured in that depraved household for far too long, my impudent princess. What the fuck? And why, you ask? Because I believed I would be the next to rule our people. That is why. But would they acknowledge me as their king? No, and such, I was denied the magic powers befitting our ruler. 
It was then, in the thrall of hatred and despair, that I turned my eyes to the heavens and found a god. All right, it's Giga Chat time. What is this walking animation? <clears throat> This looks so much like the Tunic of the Depths, by the way. But it literally is the Tunic of the Depths. The Tunic of the Depths has the same thing on its arms. It has like the same like little bands. Holy. Chill. I shall house my power in you. If there's anything you desire. Okay. No, this is this is Ganondorf. This is just Ganondorf. My God, had only one wish. To merge shadow and light and make darkness. Merge shadow and light and make darkness? How does that make sense? Usurper King Sand. Alright, forest temple. We gotta boomerang it up. Because this is what I liked about it. It basically takes you back to this location. Oh, shit. Chill, bro. And it makes you use the items you got there. fast. Twilight Princess recap boss fight. I am getting a little bit of anxiety here in this one. If you know, this was the Fire Temple incident. This stage.
more iron boots. Weird. Thank you. So next up would technically be Arbiter's Grounds. Are we even doing Arbiter's Grounds here? We are not. So normally we'd use... Normally I just roll here. Seems like that's still the case. So basically just re remind yourself of the boss mechanic from this mini boss. Which I think is also kind of cool. Now what? I think there's the snow peak one. Yeah, I do remember this. He becomes big boy. Mini Zand is actually kind of cute almost. What? Can't get any damage in. It's a long way to the final boss. Yeah, yeah. We'll be at all the time in the world. Please, Link. Dude! How many times do you have to do this? There we go. Can you actually do the guy? Oh, maybe actually. I should have tried that, that sounds fun. Alright, now we're doing actual battle. This is literally the tuning of the depths. I don't know why I didn't see this. Like, why is that flailing? It's actually scary. There's a spin in there. Whoa. What the fuck is going on? This is like TikTok level speed. For me. This is too fast for me. Yeah. 
Bro, chill! What are these teleports? I like this, uh, all these other much more. I don't personally, but I still see the charm in them a lot. I feel like after playing them again, I don't want these games again, but they're very special still. I think the replayability of like something like Breath of the Wild and, and um, Tears of the Kingdom is super appealing for me, but these games are also great. Tokyo, we have this. We get more parts. Oh, she's got the power now. You traitors. Oh, it's him. What's gonna happen to him, actually? I don't remember what happens to the end. Traitors? <laughs> you want to know why none would call you king? It was your eyes, Zand. All saw it. A lust for power burning in your pupils. Did you think we'd forget our ancestor lost their king to such greed? Meet now, foolish Twilight Princess. The curse on you cannot be broken. It was placed on you by the magic of my god. The power you held as a leader of Twilight will never return. <laughs> Already he had descended. He has descended and been reborn in this world. As long as my master, Ganon, survives, he will resurrect me without seas. Okay, dude. Just got balloon popped. I, I use just a fraction of the power that's in me now. I did that using only a fraction of my ancestor's magic. Oh. Link. Now is the time. We must save Zelda. The evil power Zen was wielding, I couldn't take it from him. But at least I still have the magic of my ancestors. With it, I can return the cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. Any heart containers for me or no? Uh, now let's go, Princess Zelda is waiting. Any, any heart containers for me? Oh yeah. You know what? I may be missing five extra hearts, but we're going there right now. I think um, eventually I will do another stream of this game when I'm going to just finish the collection. I get some heart containers. I do the cave of ordeals, but now we're saving Zelda. This is not my first time playing the game, Izo. How are you doing, by the way? I hope you're doing good. Um, I have played this game like 15 years ago when I was 12. I got it for my birthday on Wii. But while I remember the structure of all of the game and I really liked it, I forgot most things. And this playthrough is definitely showing that. But yeah, like a bed in Tears of the Kingdom. No, I just said this. I don't. Um, I do like the original Zelda formula. I think we, like both of us talked about this before, I think we kind of want the same thing in the future where it's kind of like this Metroidvania, open world Zelda, Elden Ring, Freedom Zelda hybrid. I think there is some issues with this way, this version of the formula, but it's still special to me. And uh, it, as a kid specifically, as like a 12 year old, this felt like this grand, crazy adventure. Comparing them, I prefer the new Zeldas, but this is so very special. So Ganondorf was just using Zand to help him return to the world of light. I guess now we know the true nature of that barrier over Hyrule Castle. He's in Hyrule Castle, I'm sure of it. Princess Zelda is in grave danger. We must return to the world of light and hurry to the castle. Give me your credit card numbers and the three digits on the back. Princess Zelda is in grave danger. Um, yeah, I like the dungeons too. I think my favorite was Snow Peak. The one thing that I didn't like was, for example, in the City of the Sky earlier, I um, unintentionally jumped down after getting the boss key, not knowing that I had to still um no, don't be please don't post anything this was supposed to be the meme from voice over pete i don't even know if he's still around 
Um, I know that was a fake one, but still. Um, thank you for the 100 bits, Jupiter. I mean, I guess that works. I jumped down in the city of the sky after getting the boss key, only to realize that I had to turn on the switch and had to go all the way back up, like 30, like for like 15, 20 minutes. All right, we're going. I do remember this scene faintly. I know uh, Midna's about to go sicko mode. Oh, we're still getting a letter. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you. Actually, two, in fact. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. On board to mail. Sleepy was ready to time it out, thinking it might actually be a real one. But, uh... Um, that makes sense, Sleepy. How is it going? It's going good. Uh, I, what, for the players of this game, how long do you think is left? Because it is 15 minutes before 1, and I wouldn't like to stay up until my sleep rhythm is completely broken. But from my estimate, we have like at, at most 2 hours to go. It could be way off, and the final dungeon takes like 4 hours. But I would estimate like two hours from here. Which would be alright. Wait. Two hours? Lol. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I forgetting something else that's still happening? Holy shit, what's going on? Oh, she's about to go like super sicko mode Shadow of the Colossus type monster. Wait, Isagai, what does this mean? I think the dungeon is short. It's all oh, okay, okay. This is really becoming like a Bloodborne boss. Squid now. <laughs> True. Wait, I don't remember having actually this many arms. I thought she just had like four. Who is her ancestor? Apparently a squid. It's like animal fused with guardian. Yeah, true. I still have the Zora armor on. I need to switch. How was Temple of Time? Temple of Time, I liked. All temples today I pretty much liked, but all of them had like a small incident happen. As usual, this is like the Twilight Princess incident, this entire playthrough. In the Temple of Time, I went all the way back realizing I didn't have the boss key. And I had to go all the way back up to get the boss key. In the City of the Sky, I got the boss key and jumped down to get to the boss, but realized that that's not enough and you also need to turn on like a wind turbine. So I had to go all the way back up to turn on the wind turbine. It was uh, interesting. But in general, I would say. I mean, after this temple, we can do a quick rating. But currently, my favorite, I think, is Snow Peak. And my second favorite. What is my second favorite? It might be the Temple of Time still, mainly because of aesthetics. It's pretty badass. <clears throat> Anor Londo. Okay, so once again, we need the boss key to go into the middle, so the structure is reminiscent of the temple we just did. Oh wait, this is not even the boss key, this is a small key. Thankfully, this time I noticed. Huh? Wait, so they can just go through the barrier? Also, why are these Pokoblins so crazy? I'm using the Master Sword. Are they like different 
from the Bokobis at the beginning of the game, or do they scale up in health? Like, not that they're actually difficult, but when I first got to the temple, they took like three hits with my wooden sword. This is the master sword. They're red, not purple. I see, I see. Some of those statues kind of look like the fierce deity sword, like intertwined. I see, I see that. I kind of like how the Bokomans don't really want to fight me. That's at least what it looked like. They were like, do we really have to go in there? The guy's like scary. This reminds me a lot of that uh, the Skyward Sword thing, by the way, before fighting the mice, not the mice, Girahim. I guess actually, now that I think about it, I guess that's also a pretty common theme in Zelda games, to put like a onslaught of enemies. We have the army now in Tears of the Kingdom. We had that Descend in Skyward Sword. This kind of reminds me of that. Scary. Who's gonna who's gonna be here? Wait. He fights me again? I have come to play. In my mind, in my memory, he just doesn't fight you anymore. Because he's like He still fights me. He still hasn't had enough. Or maybe after this fight, he's like, oh, you fi I have your... Do you have my respect now? Something like that. I feel like that's my favorite move, by the way. Out of all of the special skills to jump around attack. Oh my god, he's mad. I think that's my favorite. I did a minimal Master Sword use run with three hearts in this game and I beat this guy with bomb arrows. Wait, can you technically use your older sword still? Enough. I see. See, this is the scene I remember. He's like riding off. I follow the strongest side. That is all I've ever known. Which means he follows me now. Because I'm the strongest side. It was a bake. We get we're pretty much in a late game right now though. If you do wanna see me play the rest of this, I'm uploading this entire playthrough to my bot channel by the way. But it's good to have you here right now. Oh, 20 bucks as well. Probably gonna spend them on something. What's this? It looks like suspicious. Like there might be a chest here. Might just be a shortcut though. Okay, it's just a shortcut. I appreciate that. Thank you, game. The only way to beat the game is to use the Master Sword. I hate that that's such a common thing. It's actually we got really lucky that in Breath of the Wild, that because it's such a common theme that you need the Master Sword to beat the game. Um, I guess in Breath of the Wild you can do it without easily. In Tears of the Kingdom you kind of, like the last hit is scripted to be the Master Sword. Also, I am aware that I can technically go into the middle of the castle now, but I wanted to check out the right side first. No. 
Sometimes I press the Tears of the Kingdom jump button out of habit. Like I did there again. That makes me think, is it possible to beat the game without getting the secret skills? Because unless I'm completely mistaken, isn't the final hit in the game dealt by doing that finisher? Normally. Right, so these guys are still gonna be against me even though their leader isn't. I call bullshit. Oh, I actually got so much better at aiming with this. I'm thinking back to the fire temple. Where I was quite awful at it. Thinking about the speedrun road. I'm pretty sure it doesn't speedrun road unironically do that fishing rod strat or is it a different game? Because I do believe there is some fishing rod strat that you can do. Is it fast? I don't know. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like knocked out. So big. You know what? There's another one. You've had enough. Two concussions is enough. Okay. Um. Do I just have to all activate them or is there any logic? Think of like a triforce. Was that the most I could do? Yeah. I guess you can only do five. Normally. Puzzle took me forever. I'm pretty sure I looked the solution up. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> okay. That should help. But what way is it drawn? The only way it makes sense is like no 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 okay, maybe I can burn the leaves. I did it wrong here. No, I didn't do it wrong here. I thought it, it goes right side first. 
I don't even know what I did this for, by the way. Probably a hard piece. No, it's gotta be at least the map. It is the map. Appreciate it. What a thrill. And maybe the compass, if I'm here already. Nope. We got a crying Zelda stamp. That one is actually drawn pretty nicely. All right, let's go in. The real deal awaits. You online is dead, yeah. It is what it is. Alright, hello. Hello? Anyone here? Basically, the army right now. Cue the cue the human army music. I guess even in Breath of the Wild, Hyrule Castle was like the least puzzly of the dungeons, and mostly just like combats in like the gatehouses. Okay, lots of chandeliers. And the chest has just been manifested. I'm assuming those chandeliers might be grappling hookable. That's right. Compass time! It is crazy that they straight up made nine dungeons in this game. I know I haven't played it, but if anyone knows how many dungeons are there in Ocarina of Time, I would assume like six because of the uh, six or seven because of the sages. There's another chest in here. Yeah, I see. Not sure how I'd reach it though. Maybe um, by going the other way. I don't think I can reach any of these. It's not needed. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just saying it exists. Yeah, true, true. Also, if I if so, if I have a good memory, this next room will have a dark knot. Wow, I didn't really remember this fight vividly in this room. Like this is like a this is like is a special especially cool one. I like his sword, but he doesn't. Have, oh no, he doesn't. Have his sword. Holy shit! This guy got absolutely obliterated. Oh shit! No, I'm getting obliterated. Hey. This guy got, got, got kind of combat montage on for the most part. Why am I getting an end for the Super Bowl in Spanish? Wait, what? When is the Super Bowl? I don't know. Most people can't hear me unless you're subbed right now. If you're subbed right now, can you tell me when the Super Bowl is? 
I never watch it, but I kind of like it as an excuse to order delicious food. This Sunday. That's actually perfect because I'm taking Sunday off stream. So maybe it's Super Bowl time. Super Bowl food time. Okay, this is not quite right. Is there more lanterns in this room? No, but maybe this lantern has to be extinguished? Is that a possibility? Yeah. But it's still not enough. The first one... This one I need. Did I need the second one? I think so too, right? Second one. Do I need the second one? Not technically. Goron Mines, incident again, folks. Okay, so is this puzzle actually hard? No, 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 no. Okay, I don't. No, 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 no. Uh, yes? Goron Mines, incident? Wait. What if I. I can just go on here. And then do this. What is this? Why does it not work? You kidding me? Okay, never mind. I thought it might be Goron Mines incident. How's the run going? Um, the playthrough to Prince is going good. Which I'm kind of shocked because this is actually... I'm like in the final dungeon now, like probably around 30-40% in. And I've only been streaming for 7 hours, so I guess it only took... It will eventually have taken like eight hours or so. Uh, but I'm, it's good. It's a fun time. Oh yeah, no, I feel like in general I try to always think of the least complicated solution right now. Also, this kind of looks like the Royal Guard sword, uh, shield. After what's uh, recently happened, I tend to just think of the least complicated solution, if I can. Sometimes I still miss it. Okay, so these four are on. Okay, wait, let's let's try and keep thinking simple first. Okay, this doesn't work. This does work. Oh wait, does it just go off after some time? This would again be the easiest solution, just running in a circle. But I think it goes beyond this. Yeah, because now two of. No. <laughs> you do have to let him in a specific way? Okay. Maybe the other room had information. The other room that was locked. That it was meant to have. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, no, no, no. What? I didn't do it. Also, my lantern oil is almost got, almost done. Painting. I don't even know if I have enough. go back time to get oil um shoot the painting that doesn't seem like an obvious solution that would be the exact opposite of what i would have usually done Yeah, but even using the wolf in there doesn't seem very, um, doesn't seem very obvious. There's a missing a hint that says, please use wolf here. Is this the coolest thing ever? I would say so. In terms of Link, yeah. You just look at Link itself himself. I use the wolf in here. I know it's not obvious, but that's the death's fault. True. Maybe it's the other room. Maybe it is. Ooh, I like Mid Midna's RGB powers. I mean, if the solution to this is shoot the painting. Okay, how are you supposed to know that? Any understanders? How are you? Is there like a... No? That is so random. How the fuck? That's, that seems so random for the, compared to the rest of the game. Which which side am I supposed? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to start here. But that is still not correct. Where do I start? Here. Go over. Go here. Go here. Okay, it's still timing precise. Still, this is an annoying puzzle. I don't think there's anywhere else in the game where I have to shoot ropes like that. Yeah, you do, that's. I don't think I have done this. And then it's still kind of timing precise. And I haven't seen anything in the the room that would be like hinting you towards this. Interesting. True, the Goron mines have like one bridge or something that you shoot down. But that's quite different from shooting a painting from a wall. <laughs> Is right from yeah, I wonder what um, that wolf thing is about. Okay, now I'm here. I can press the switch, which will lower this chandelier, maybe even crash it to the ground. No, it actually it seems like it would permanently lower it. Is that the case? Seems like that's the case. What does that do for me now? I have no clue. But I guess I have to go the other way and figure out what that room is about. Oh. 
<laughs> oh wait, there's also a door here. So nice. This one leads me outside. Hey, what's up, Bia? How are you doing? This is very reminiscent of Hyrule Castle of the Wild for me, and even... I guess it's just normal final dungeon stuff. I have a gaunt at the enemies we fought. Here. More key. Seems important. Okay, before I go there, is there anything here? There is. Get to into the. Uh, no, I can't go here. And I can't go there because I need the boss. This is the boss key. What? It just gives it to me? Maybe if those are all down. I He's just dead. Game over. Who's this? Ravali. Wait. <laughs> How did he? Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, they brought the rocket launcher. Never mind. Wow, my friends, I talked to like once in the game. Hi guys. Thank you for giving me that boss key. I really appreciate it. The best part of the enemies experience, so I haven't done this part, but now I have the boss key, and I'm pretty sure this hallway might lead me towards the boss. I've been playing this for seven hours, I'm beating Ganondorf if I can. But I might be missing stuff, we'll see. This, I think, is the wolf room, isn't it? This immediately, now that you've said it probably, but now that you've said it, I'm very much reminded that this is something that I think you have to do. Which again... What is this? Yeah, okay. I do remember this. Like literally from 15 years ago, what the fuck. I thought you follow a scent. But this is scary. Again, this reminds me of Elden Ring. The guys that walk towards the dead guys that walk towards the cave walking towards the cave but cool in any percent you've never talked to them and you get the cutscene of your friends showing up that's really funny Link getting lucky. That's it, just a bunch of the Zalfos, okay. Uh... I like how the music is changing here. Can you help me meet now? This is exactly the time where you should jump over there. And we do like the dun 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 because I can't see any possibility for the spinner here. Maybe I have to shoot some paintings again. Why did someone make this jump? Tell me. Okay, she doesn't know. 
She doesn't know. Clueless. No, I'm not clueless. I actually just don't want to tell you yet. Um, I want to kind of keep it like a secret. Okay. Why do I remember that there's something in this wall? Is this just... Am I remembering this correctly? This is what I like, seem to remember that this empty spot here has something to do with it. <laughs> this took you 20 minutes? I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with you being bad at gaming. Like, they just put an unsurpassable jump in front of you with no other clues as far as I can see. I mean, I don't know, but this just seems... A little unintuitive. Maybe break the barrels. Yeah, okay, plus one heart. What gets you far? Yeah, what items do I have? I have the hook shot. Can I hook shot anything here? Oh, I see. Okay. Well. I call it bullshit. Let's be real. Okay, boom, I'm jump. You know what's funny? That's the first thing I thought of. When they said, what gets you f far? Imme that was, that's immediately where my brain went to. Yeah, this is the speedrun job, man. Hello? Okay, I have to go over here. Wait, do I? Yeah, okay, I have to go over here. And then I have to go over there. And then I have to go over there, so I don't fall into a hole. Why did Hyrule Castle install this? This is the same thing that I think of in Hollow Knight. Okay, the game sucks. Where the Pale King just decided, yo, let me just install like a bunch of like... Let me just install a bunch of like chainsaws here, please. Like who thought this was a good idea? Another Dark Knight? Okay. I mean, I guess this man is heavily guarded, huh? Wait, wait, shh. More to draw time. Okay, I got, I got more to draw on. This guy not the protagonist, huh? He's much cooler than me. How can he even block that attack? Also, does it just look like there's like a bunch of chests in here? Oh, I guess if I had gotten a key, there would be like a treasure room there with like a bunch of chests, but I missed it. It is what it is. Chamber, I'm assuming. It's fine. We're full life, we're chilling. We're primed and ready to go. It's getting time. 
It's Anno Londo time. We have come a long way. This has been almost a 30 hour journey to get to this point. Good game. We'll play again in the future, in the next 15 years from now. But <laughs> first, we gotta win. We have won. And I only remember like 20% of the fight, which is like the first and the last phase. I don't really know what else I have to do. Let's see. <laughs> Money and a stamp, okay. So did he revive her? Welcome to my castle. <laughs> Holy. So you're Ganondorf. Of course, he stands up like this in like slow motion. I can show. Wait, so that wound in his chest is like when he was tr tried to be sealed, right? This is like Raru's doing. I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. His head shape is kind of weird. <laughs> Actually, now that I look at it. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. Oh, Zelda's really pretty in this game. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Such conceit. If you are one of the chosen wielders of power as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. That is a better smirk than it is with the Kingdom smirk. Very well. Deny me, then. Yes, try to deny me, you and your little friend. Pretty badass. Pretty badass guy. <laughs> wow, good job, Meetna. Thanks for the help. Getting those seals of the game with <laughs> smirk. Yeah, they they knew they fixed the Zelda smile in the final cutscene. So they had to do something they had to cook up something else this time. Oh god. Both of you. Faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. <laughs> so you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath. <clears throat> okay. It's tennis time! I do remember the tennis time. It's tennis time. Okay, we have to keep playing tennis. Okay, that's not an. That's that is. Not, I'm pretty sure that's an illegal move. I've never seen Roger Federer do this. Hey, 
hey, hey, hey. Hey, no. Pretty sure that's against the What? Okay. Are we playing tennis again? No. Not quite. She doesn't want to play tennis anymore. I don't know I just tried, she just dodges it. I don't know if she is gonna try it again. Maybe there's something else I have to do. Okay, now we're tennising. We're tennising. I'm sorry. That looks pretty cruel. GG's, yeah, that's definitely the final boss fight. GG's, GG's, definitely not another phase. <laughs> what is she doing? What is this tentacle monster doing to Zelda? Oh, never mind. Saved. Hey, oh, what was that chemistry? What is this weird? This is the weird, like, final boss fight featuring lots of uh, romantic tension. We got like the love triangle going on and Dark Beast Ganon. I remember this is a thing, I don't remember him looking like this. Honestly, this is like a cooler Dark Beast. Uh, I'm scared. Okay. It looks like there was a portal there. Okay, the portal turns blue and then he runs at you. He's glowing. Wait, do you have to... Oh god, I have no arrows. I hope you don't have to do this. If you have to do that... Rip. I have four arrows. Okay, I think you have to do this because I just got random arrows. Convenient. Music is sick. Not essentially, because there's an easier way. I see. I mean, arrows seem to work. What is he, is he drooling? He's drooling. He's dripping. Light? That kind of doesn't make sense for Ganondorf, does it? This game is I'd be the first to say. I mean, so far the aiming is fine, but maybe it gets worse. I hate the all of these teleportation things make me nervous. What? Bro just teleported away. Fair. He dodged, okay, so this is no longer good enough. He learned. What? Okay.
He's just teleporting away now. I guess I need to shoot it right when he gets out. Wait, meet now. He's changing his strategy. Not only can you not confuse him, but he won't be able to you won't be able to attack. Beast against beast. How about matching an evil beast against a sacred beast? Uh, okay, what is that gonna do? What am I supposed to do with the wolf? Just attack? What? By the way, don't actually tell me the solution. I know I'm asking like this. I feel like I've already been backseat a bit too much in this endgame. It is what it is. Whoa, what the fuck was that push? Okay. Wait, what is that? Ha ha did I ever do that before? Push? Oh, it's like a new mechanic at the literal final fight. Well, I guess the energy genesis is kind of new. Wait, I'm just going left and right. I don't know if this is right. I guess it's kind of quick time, yeah. Just like in the home... I didn't see him approach at all. I just saw Mitna's hand. It's like in my hometown village. Um, or like against the Gorons. A little bit. But back then we didn't have to look at the wolf. Okay, dead. GG's. The legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, surely... There wouldn't be a third phase. This is how it ends, just like Breath of the Wild. Dark Beast is down. And now Zelda's gonna seal him, right? With the hand. I expect like more heroic music. Hmm? Oh, she's sealing him. Just like expected. Looking. P Princess, I... I... Say nothing, Meetna. Your heart and mine wears one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Sag. Huh? Wait, what? I mean, there you go. I've done my job. It's Meetna's moment. Are we trying to like save her because it looks like she's gonna sacrifice herself? Or because she's trying to like fight Ganon here in the castle or what? I don't really remember what happens here. She looks very smug. But her eyes are shaking, she's gonna cry. Oh no! She's unleashing all of her power now. Well, now he's surely dead. I mean, Ganondorf wasn't dead before. Now he's like dead, dead. That was one final plunge. Oh God. The car's literally exploded. Fuck. 
He won. This can't be real. Okay, I'm obviously trolling. I know that this part happens, like this phase, but I don't remember him like eluding on winning this battle. Because I. Eh? This makes sense. Oh, hand holding? Not now, Zelda. Spirits of the light, wielders of great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. She teleported away. This is the one I'm mostly scared of because we're doing horse riding, oh boy. Light arrows. Link. This is the first time I realized how huge Link's eyebrows are. Is that normal? Are eyebrows like twice the size of your eyes? Chosen hero. Sorry, I ruined the moment. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. Sure. Alright, here we go. I tried to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. Actually, there's like a there's like a light, uh, there's like a love rectangle. I just realized I completely forgot about Ilya. We got Midna and Zelda. It's, it's getting awkward. You target him and keep him within the range of my arrows. Holy! Uh, <laughs> Good start. Bro. This guy's broken! I can't even move! See, this is what I was scared of because my... my <laughs> horseback controls suck. Wait, hello? What's the secret? He just runs up to me and hits me in the face. Bro, why am I just being... Gu I'm just getting absolutely rolled. What's the mechanic? Hey! Do I need like motion controls? What the fuck is going on? Uh, I literally don't understand what I'm supposed to do. To not get hit. Okay, she hit it. Okay, she missed. What? How did that even happen? I'm supposed to be the one trolling, not you, Zelda. It's <laughs> all good. House control now we use Sargs game was better. Yeah, I had a huge issue with the same thing when I was fighting the King Boblin, Boblin, Boblin guy. King Boblin. Shit was hard. Made me appreciate the Breath of the Wild host controls, honestly. 
Zelda, please, please hit him. Thanks. Good job. Well, now he's finally dead, my, my god, what a battle. Three phases. That's crazy. GG's, guys. So the Wait. No, I'm kidding. An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Did you hear my desire to take this foul blade and use it to blot? Okay, he's talking too fast. Well, one versus one time. Is that chance? What does chance mean? Eight hours, I, I have lost my English capabilities for the day, apparently. How can I hand split you? Wait, that sounds... Okay, this fight is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> It feels like pretty cool battles. Nothing will ever beat Ishin for me, I feel like, as a fan of those fights. Anymore, who knows? But this is pretty fucking cool. Let him charge you, please. for like a second. I don't really know what to do though. This is going to give me a chance to do it. I'm, it. I see the prompt for like a second. But I can't do it. Sorry. At least I'm not really getting it. He keeps stabbing me, it's like, it's not, he's not doing it. I, I feel like it's kind of like killing the fight for me a little bit, I'm sorry. I, I'm sure it's cool, but like... Okay, see, we got it anyway. I would have liked to just continue to do the fight normally, but it's fine. Okay. 
Okay, wow, <laughs> that was so cool. This time, I think he might actually be dead. Unless... Phase 5. <laughs> Time to start, start speedruns right now, 1.51am. We're doing a run. <laughs> Do not think this ends here. Oh shit, phase five. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. True. Every single game since then keeps continuing to tell the story. And the next one will probably too. Doesn't he just literally die standing up? Do I remember this correctly? What a giga chat. Fatality. Thank you, Barry. I'm pretty sure we just did exactly that. Although I still have to do in the game, but as far as the story is concerned. Yeah, what about the Master Sword, by the way? I would kind of like this. Wait, Midna Phase Reveal? Is not happening soon? Press of iron boots. I think it's too late for me to put them on, but it does sound funny because you probably hear them step, right? A clink clang. Oh yeah. <laughs> like right here, like dum dum. Okay, that sounds <laughs> that sounds really funny. <laughs> That's not the Meetna I know. She's too tall for you anyway, Link. It's fine, let her go. Oh, Link did the same thing. Oh, hello. Oh. Hi. What? Say something. Uh, <clears throat> Hi. I'm so beautiful that you have no words left. No, I'm just kind of exhausted from fighting the, the, the bad guy, you know? <laughs> wow, Link, this is his face when you realize he's in, an, in a harem. With Zelda, Ilya, and... Wait, another credits roll? Oh, so there's a post credit scene. Eiji Onuma. Hey, I know that guy. Because I'm pretty sure she goes back, right? Doesn't she, like, destroy the mirror, too, and is, like, really sad? That's what I remember. 
But I guess it's after the credits. Can we just turn off the game now and pretend they live in a happy harem for the rest of the game? Honestly, that's my ending. I get to choose my ending. Even if at the end Midna goes back to the Twilight Realm and destroys the mirror, we can choose right now to live happily ever after with Link and a love triangle between Ilya, Midna and Zelda. No. No, what do you think? I, I like this idea, but if you think there's like a really important cutscene at the end, we can watch it. One that I don't already basically know of. It's also 2 a.m. So, yeah. This is your first playthrough. You gotta watch the cutscene. No, 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 it's not. It's not. I will, I will watch the cutscene, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm already looking uh, for a raid right here. Because, guys, I have beaten the game and it's like pretty late. Um, like pretty late right now. Not gonna lie. And I will stream tomorrow again with the. Uh, it's the cutscene I'm thinking of, yeah. With Randomizer Tears of the Kingdom and then my first ever Elden Ring Randomizer. And speaking of Elden Ring Randomizer, I'm gonna raid Eggy right now. Um, thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for watching me beating the game. It was uh, fun. A fun game. Wait, true, this is a Zelda theme. I thought for a second it was a Pokemon song. Um, good night, I'll see you tomorrow at like 4-ish, 5-ish p.m. For the next stream. Should play this again, I agree. Uh, was a fun game. I need to play Ocarina of Time before I can do it and Windbreaker before I can do a 3D Zelda tier list, but that's gonna come up. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's bedtime for me, 2 a.m. I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye bye, bye bye, peace, bye. Enjoy the rest of the evening, bye. Do you want to watch, watch the other stream I watched? Damn, holy. Go to the moment. How are you doing, serious? I saw on Discord series playing Da Vinci Resolve. I hope that's going well. I I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, bye, good night, bye.